Smod Pods continue to pack live shows in 2015. Don't miss Kevin Ralph for Hollywood Babylon at the Hollywood Improv every Friday. Kevin Andy makes minds mighty with education at the Ice House in Pasadena on January 31st. Looking ahead to February, Jason Muse hits Wizard World Madison Comic Con February 6th through 8th. Ice House in Pasadena hosts Jay and Silent Bob Get Old on the 28th. Kev goes solo at the Tempe Improv on March 14th, followed with Jay and Bob Get Old. Why Bry heads to Florida in April. Fort Lauderdale Improv on April 17th, Palm Beach Improv on the 18th, and Orlando Improv on the 19th. Kev does an evening with in Fort Lauderdale as well on the 17th, and then West Palm Beach on the 18th. Cough up a little cash to see your favorite purveyors of free funny on Sir as they hit the road, coming soon to a con or comedy club near you. Tickets for these and all Smodco shows are at csmod.com. That's Bill fucking... Clinton with a fucking cigar in someone's pussy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Ignorance is not an excuse. <laughs> All their money, first and foremost, goes to education. What yeah. dummies? <laughs> Tell them, Steve Dave. Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Them, Steve Dave. We are back, back in the saddle with BQ and with Hello. Walt. And Ming is here for a very special reason. <laughs> It's time to lace up those skates and talk about hockey with Walt, Rye, Ming, and Sunday Jeff. These are the Puck Nuts. Yo, hello everybody and welcome to the Puck Nuts Minute, the Brian Quinn's Puck Nuts Minute. Oh, that's right. I thought I'd give that back to you. I don't... For the sake of your audience oh, who okay, wants you it. to have it, it's all yours. Oh, sweet. Welcome to the Puck Nuts Minute. My name is Ming Chen. Here and, with Tom Steve. And, and uh, unfortunately, the one of the OG puck nut Sunday Jeff won't be able to weigh in. But uh, we had to call us an emergency meeting of puck nuts <laughs> with the scandal that is rocking the sports world. Yes. Of deflated balls. That was my high school nickname. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your nickname was Inflate Gate? <laughs> it's about uh, two days old. Three, I think I start to rumblings about it were bun- Monday this, this, yeah. of this week. And it's becoming white hot now. That was the last I heard of it was uh, they said they were investigating. Did they find something? Well, for if anybody – I guess there are probably listeners who have no idea what we're talking about. Oh, so, hell like, yeah. Um, AFC championship game was last Sunday. Was Patriots uh, versus Indianapolis Colts. Patriots in a rout. Mm. Blew out the Colts. and But after the game, Colts started accusing the Patriots of using under-inflated footballs. It turns out that – it wasn't just an accusation. They measured the uh, the Whoa. whatever the, the PSI or uh, PSI whatever, whatever in whatever the ball that means. Whoa! And they were on twelve of the eleven of the twelve balls the Patriots have set aside for use on offense were under deflated. Eleven of twelve. Oof! And now I ask you: Does anybody here know why not all twelve were deflated? So they could present them with one originally. So like, do, do they? Ma- <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take that as a you're not right <laughs> noise. BQ? Uh, I do not have any idea. <laughs> You'd want to hear that noise. <laughs> <at your expense. laughs> Ming? I have no clue. You have no clue? I have no clue. I did not. That's why it's not Ming Chen's prop. That's yeah. not The more. 12th ball. Uh, this is my theory. Okay. So, oh, wait a thing, so that noise real... was based in theory? <laughs> I could be right. <laughs> All right, well, you're good. okay, then you can make that noise to me after I tell you this if you think I'm wrong. Okay. Twelfth ball was for kicking. Kicking. Oh, huh? kicking ball, which... which you would never have under deflated. You yeah. want that ball to go as far as it can go. You want helium in it. Mm. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at me if you think I'm wrong. I'm not going to at you. Um <laughs> I thought maybe in the very beginning they would have to be like, "Hey, here's one of the balls," and like somebody yeah. checks it out to make sure it's they okay. To, they 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 checked all the balls. Why do they provide all the balls? The Patriots. I I didn't realize all NFL teams teams do this. I didn't realize this was a, a 
um, a ritual or whatever is like every team brings their own footballs with them into any stadium they go into. And those are the balls though they use on offense. And when the other team goes on offense, they have their own footballs because they like them scuffed up a certain way. Yeah. Or um, or deflated. Or deflated, <laughs> or deflated a certain way. Yes, you're allowed to condition them to your liking, but within parameters. You can't underinflate them. You can't. Now, Q, what, do you don't? Did you watch any football this weekend? No, I did not. Bry, I did no, not. no football. Not for me, no. No, did you, that's you, why I got you that. You weren't watching these games either because you were you were doing Tusk Day, right? Yeah, but I was paying attention to the games. How were you I paying was, attention to them? Uh, you know, I, I was getting updates from. There were people in the theater watching the games. Do you think that there is, in any way, shape, or form, deflated balls is why they're playing in the Super Bowl right now? No, no, not no? not at all. No, no, no. no I, what you think? You think Tom Brady, arguably the greatest quarterback right now, or needs, ever, or ever, he's going to go out. He's going to be if if this scandal doesn't knock him down a couple of pegs, he could be arguably. Listed as one of the greatest ever. Yeah, you, you think underinflated balls is going to help him out in any way? It, it, it will help a little bit, but well, so, not so that. Why do it then? Why do it? Yeah. Is he the one who um, bangs Giselle Boonchin? Yes, he is. He's married to her, right? I don't know. I, I don't know about marriage, but does does it matter? I, mean, I don't give a fuck <laughs> if he gets kicked out of the league for this. He still wins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I fucked in the bed. They fucked in. What? what? True story. Yeah, went to when I went to Costa Rica. This is three years ago. I rented this house on a beach, and uh, it was the same house they rented for their honeymoon. There's only one whoa, bed in that house. Whoa, 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 There's only whoa. one bed in that house. So how much does that set? Because I know that's mm. a supermodel, and that's a fucking dude who's making yeah. billions. He's got a ring. Right. How is it that a fucking Impractical Joker is able to rent that Season house? one, too. Well, let me stop you for a second. I think – I'm pretty sure Giselle Boonchen is the wealthiest supermodel right. of all time. What kind of house was this? Was this like – It was, was – pull walls out the greatest house in Costa Rica? No, no. It's not a mansion. It's more of like a like a uh, like a chill-out, relaxing house on a beach in a, in a secluded part of Costa Rica. He's like, what I meant to say was I stayed in the garage. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's literally on How a beach. How did you know that Tom Brady had stayed there? Um, because when I called to book it and I was asking what houses that they uh, – that they have available, uh, the uh, they gave me a little history. Each house in this little, they have like four houses, right. has its own little history. Well, how do you know that they? Uh, con- how do you know that they performed any kind of sexual? Well, act? it was a honeymoon. Okay, so right. I, I'm just point. I'm just going you, on. You, yeah. you, I'm sure that she waited till the honeymoon too, right? Well, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> She's a good girl. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, I, I've heard stories. Mm. Not me, but that people are so tired on honeymoon that they don't even worry about sex or anything. They're so tired from after the trip and all the all the hoopla. They just want to relax. And they yeah, don't, but the whole they, honeymoon, though, they're not going to bang? I'd love to know the percentage, especially couples who have been together for a long time. You're together for 10 years, and then you go on your honeymoon? I mean, is there like Are you pers- carrying her across the threshold? <laughs> are you fucking like looking into her eyes romantically and shit? Well, I would hope so. Or are you just because well, you've been together 10 years? Well, Why would that change anything? It's still a special day. It's still your special yeah, I would week. Think, yeah. Why would you even do it if you're not going to buy into yeah. all that shit? I don't know. I guess that explains my current <laughs> state. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. All right. So you're so you're in the bedroom. Yes. No way Ming's not letting The that girl happen. I was with at the time. Right? No. Uh, you know, I, I tried to convince her to rub her vagina against the sheets to get pregnant from Tom Brady, but uh, she <laughs> she laughed and thought I was kidding. <laughs> it was not until she woke up. <laughs> is there any level while you're in the midst of it, you're like, mm, no, uh, I'm like you're visualizing Tom Brady. No, no. <laughs> not just uh, boots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, that's, that would be weird. He's, he's naked, uh, naked I did. Wearing, I did. Boots. It had like this nice outdoor shower. That was like, and and when I was showering in there, I was like, "Oh, this is where Giselle was naked." I did think that. Yeah. yeah. Did you look in the drain for any like, <laughs> for like cubes? cubes and shit? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that much. Costa Rica is a pretty a pretty affordable place if you if you go to the right places. Is there bad spots on the island? The the no, there's actually not. The country has a 98 percent literacy rate. They have no military legally. Legally, education is a first priority of the country, so the crime rate is almost non-existent. How can you how can you enforce that legally? You can all, yeah. all the all the government funds but, go. By, no, no, like we pay for military and all that shit. Right. They all their money first and foremost goes to education. 
Boy, yeah. dummies. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a result, they have no crime rate. They have their, no their, guns. Whole, their whole uh, their whole economy is based on tourism. So <laughs> they uh, when I when I went um, in San Jose, I did see cops though riding around on motorcycles and had like machine guns on their sure. back. Like regular cops, I guess. Well, there's always that two percent. But where's uh, this at? Same place, Costa, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Why do they need guns for? I don't know that two percent who skipped school. <laughs> now they're robbing <laughs> shit. True, an officer. It's a truly amazing country, though. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's unbelievable. It's really great. Yeah. I, th- I think it's the number one destination right now. The number one vacation destination. Like people figured it out over Florida. Uh, yeah, even over Disney. Disney's got to work a little harder. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's the internet, so I don't know. But they're saying Giselle Boonchin, three hundred and twenty million. Whoa. Okay. The house was not that much. Why would they be? At, why would they be? Why wouldn't they have the, it was the greatest house on that island? You know? I mean, I, I don't know that you would equate money with with great. It was the house was gorgeous, perfectly placed. Yeah. It was you had howler monkeys above you at night. Like it was just really nice, man. It was like howler really, monkeys. Yeah, they're like this type of monkey. They wake you up in the morning by howling. <clears throat> yeah. It's, I it's, saw it's it's like serene. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Well, how, uh, is it, yeah, they're not like, coming up at your ear and screaming at it. No, is you it hear them like. Is it disturbing or is no, it? Almost it's like a like, pleasant alarm clock, like nature's alarm clock. It's like a rooster in this country. Yeah. yeah. And, what are they, and what are they howling for? Because they're hungry. They're actually <laughs> they're drunk. Get into your room. <laughs> 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 they say the monkeys there get drunk because they eat these. Uh, oh, yeah? They eat these um, nuts that are fermented on the thing, and they get a little wacky. And you off ever it. see the videos like they they stagger all over the place? Oh, that's a bear. I've seen them. Bears and they eat fermented <laughs> berries. Yeah, or raccoons that obviously have rabies. And it's on America's <laughs> Funniest Home Videos. People are like <laughs> 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 drunk on berries. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't mean to, 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 to derail puck. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, oh, so, right. what yeah. do you guys think? Is it is it cheating? Yeah, it's cheating. And what, what's the penalty? Take him right out of that game. I heard okay. no Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> right? No That's way. something your mom would say. Yeah. Yeah, I think That's it, something so unrealistic. <laughs> I read that. I swear I read that. <laughs> I'll see if I can find That's it. That's something Pam would be like, well, there should be no Super Bowl this year. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and the world would be like, no yeah, you're Super right. Bowl. <laughs> um, really, though, what is the penalty? Ming, what what could be the penalty? There's there's what penalty? There's not going to be a penalty. There won't be a penalty. There will, there will be, a be a penalty. There absolutely it, will be a penalty. Now, how much were they underinflated by? I, again, I don't. I'm not. Uh, I'm I'm not really uh, expert. Well versed in the in, in in the air pressure of uh, mm-hmm. of the ball. Mm-hmm. I don't know what kind of a difference it really would make, but it doesn't matter. A rule was broken. Right. A precedent. Was set a couple years ago when a coach in the NFL was ignorant of other staff members putting bounties on other players for other teams, like going saying, "Hey, if you knock out this certain player, I'll give you a couple. I'll give you another ten grand." Knock Whoa. him unconscious. Knock him out of the game. Injure. Oh. Them. oh, okay. Injure them. That's pretty fucked up. Wait, what, who what said is, that? What is football though? What yeah, is football? I wouldn't though? be surprised. Yeah, at but all. You, I don't. I don't know that your any any good sportsman is trying to purposely injure another player. You accept you this part of the you game. You don't think that they're trying to hit as hard as possible? Yeah, but I mean, there's ways to hit, and then there's ways to hit the knees at a certain. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you want to go out there with an. They didn't say take a penalty, but if you hit, but like if you can hit them hard enough and knock them out of the game, you're getting it. I mean, there was never like. Oh, not it, like not like Tara's ligaments and shit like that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, there's always that gray area. Who's to say yeah. that that wasn't said too? But anyway, a coach of that team who feigned ignorance, sure, said I wasn't aware of this. The, the league commissioner said ignorance is not an excuse and suspended that coach for a year. A year, a holy year. shit! Wasn't wow. allowed to do anything with the organization for a year. You don't think the NFL has to do the same thing to this coach? No. Why? That's different. Why that's, is that's different? causing grievous injury? That's uh, no, no it's, it's, it's different. Than, it's think, different from underinflated ball. I don't think it. I don't think it helped him at all. Brady He's, says he didn't underinflate the balls, or yeah, he didn't say? alter them. Well, I would not in a million years think he was in charge of pumping them up. <laughs> Who would no. you think would be though? I would think, you they think had, a like, ball boy ball guys. Yeah, right. So the ball boy is going to be like, I'll take it on on his own discretion to be like, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the air out of this ball because I know I know the quarterback likes it when the ball is under deflated. No, no, no. But I do see a higher up talking to that ball boy right. and saying like, calibrate it a little differently. That's like, like how did they find? Who's that out? higher up? Who? How is that higher up going to be? Know what Brady wants. 
Only Brady knows exactly how he wants that ball to feel. It's a little bit easier. It's easier to catch, right? It's, it's, it and was easier cold, to throw. it was wet, and it's easier to throw because you can get a, a tighter grip. Oh, so they underinflated him on the spot because they knew about the conditions. Yes. Oh, man. This goes deeper than I ever wow. dreamed. <laughs> I think um, they should be pulled out. Who in told Indiana them? Should be put in. Like, how did they know? <laughs> Indianapolis. Indianapolis should be put in. That, but you know that's unrealistic, though, right? In this, in this, in the world we live in. Not yeah, but I just to want to see everybody's fucking face if they <laughs> Could do. Could you it. imagine? I would that? love it. It would be it, this. This nation, right, would go ape shit if the Super Bowl the last minute the, t- the teams were, were changed. It, unprecedented in, in, in sports history. I would love it. I would love it. <laughs> it would be the story of the. They'd century. be beside themselves. Forget the Black Sox sink scandal. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Inflate game. This is it, but so what do you do, Q? I mean, a realistic a realistic solution. Uh I mean, I guess look, I honestly think that the realistic thing to do is fucking pull them out. They won't do it. Okay, so, so you're get- the commissioner. Can you please eloquently yeah. tell the world what you're going to do? The second uh, he says he's kicking him out, somebody's shooting him. Yeah. So. <laughs> he doesn't get to elegant with uh, look, it's, anything. Not, it's not fair to the other team who played uh, who played under the right. Uh, I'd like the to right use the rules. no fair d- defense. <laughs> fair play, man. <laughs> no fair play. It's not fair to the fans of the other team. Um, you know, we're a business that that only, that thrives on people following the rules. If you don't follow rules, there are penalties, and the penalty in this case is you're out. Goodbye, Colts. Well, they're saying no, that. Goodbye, um, Pats. Oh, goodbye, Pats. Colts. Hello, hello, Colts. Hello, Colts. It's saying that the Colts were. Uh, it, it was a foregone conclusion that the Colts were going to lose. Oh yeah, like who's standard? Who, what do you mean? It was a foregone conclusion before the game started. The New York no one Post. Knew that. I mean, that's what they're saying here. That it was such a. It was a blowout to begin. It was with. a blowout. You're saying that's not the case. It was a blowout, but um, no one would have. No one could have known it would be a blowout. Oh really? I mean, only Nostradamus. Oh, God damn. He didn't write any quatrains about that <laughs> deflated ball. Because it's saying here in the post, um, the NFL could have allowed the Colts to use five downs every series. It wouldn't have made a difference. They could have used uh, beach yeah. balls or medicine balls. Yeah, they, there wasn't any way the Colts exactly. were going to come within three touchdowns of the Pets. It doesn't matter, though. No, I agree. How would they have that's what I mean. Like This is the guy that's saying it was a blowout anyway. The only way you're going to prevent good this reason. from happening again is by pulling the fuck out. And putting the Colts in. Nobody will ever underinflate right. a ball again for the rest of fucking time. And then, and then the Super Bowl is a spectacle, and it's not even about a game anymore. So now you have a team yeah. that could win the Super Bowl right. and lost two weeks ago. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> not only lost, that but got awesome. humiliated, and now there's a chance they could hey, actually man, win the championship. It's like the wild card in baseball, man. You don't know who's going to fuck Yeah, they only made that. it because the other team got disqualified. That's not like the wild card in sure baseball. It is. It's not even <laughs> close to an analogy. Sure, it's a wild card. <laughs> <laughs> How is that even close? Has a baseball team ever won a championship by losing? No, well, sure. The wild card is is the first person, basically in third place, right? Yeah, but has any team so ever lost. lost and then and then had a ring to show for it? But has any che- but <laughs> a team got caught cheating? That should be that. That should be it. Uh, I I I think a realistic approach um, to this all. I mean, when you're talking about billions, yeah. you're talking about worldwide exposure. You've got to let the Super Bowl go on as is. Yes, and next year. Maybe eight games for Belichick. Eight game suspension. suspension. Yeah. Okay. If well, not a year. Brady says he picked up the footballs he wanted to use five hours before the game, and but he wasn't paying any attention to the inflation level. It's not like I squeeze the football; I grip the football. That's a fucking. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's that's a fucking, distinction. That's of Bill a fucking, Clinton with a fucking cigar in someone's pussy. Right? Yeah, 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 right? Exactly not, right. <laughs> not, and that's a better analogy than a fucking baseball wild. You, you're telling me that, that you're making sense. <laughs> you're telling me that you're. A, <laughs> uh, you're telling me well, third, you know, fourth place is what is a loser. Fourth no, place? not, not sure. what you're talking about in placing of playoff standings. I'm talking about actually a team actually losing the game and then celebrating because they're going on to yeah. uh, onto the next game. Yeah, but what you're it's saying then is that sport. what you're saying then is that that you you find that less acceptable than a cheater going on to win the 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 Super Bowl. What do I find less acceptable? That, that the Colts lose, going in? Yeah. No, I just think realistically, it's it's impossible. It's it's that's a pipe dream. That's like oh, it's that's definitely po- a pipe that's dream. That's your Pollyanna coming out. Yeah, but I don't know anything about football, and I don't care. And I don't care about football. I, they could they could cancel the whole Super Bowl. It wouldn't matter to me. 
<laughs> so puck that to man. <laughs> yeah, it this is where we're men. <laughs> I've never won money on the Super Bowl. I'm, uh, it's my only chance during the week. <laughs> during the year, are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, so I would, I would love to see it just to see everybody get agitated. It'd be great. Maybe they'll take away one of their draft picks. Oh, they're going to do that probably too. Yeah. They may even take a first round pick away. I think eight game suspension, loss wow. of a draft pick, and money. Wow. Let's see who's right. What do you think, Ming? So, We're going to get you away in. What do you think the punishment? Do you say no punishment whatsoever? No. Wow. Why? You don't let, you're like, you don't want anybody to be uh, held accountable for this? I, I, I do just ever, don't. Do you like anybody's feet if, ever held to if, the fucking fire if it, ever? If, <laughs> if, if, it help, if it clearly helped them out, sure. But I'm, it doesn't yeah. matter, man. You still, you still cheated. You still didn't play by the rules. It yeah, has to be a punishment. And Ming, don't you feel that knowing that they had those inflated balls that they had a leg up gave them a psychological advantage too? No, not Tom. You don't like, think so? It, no. It was, well, maybe no. I don't think the whole team would know. I think if anybody, probably just Brady would know. Brady they, and the ball boy and, and Belichick all knew. Belichick's the coach, right? Yeah. They say that. Now, um, also, oh, I'm sorry, Brian. I don't mean to interrupt you, but this is okay. important. Is important part of uh, part of the story that we didn't talk about. This organization has been caught cheating before and paid paid. Uh, a price for it. They videotaped. Yeah. They videotaped practices of the other team before they played them, which is a against spot yeah, team right. against NFL rules. They should dis- disband this team. <laughs> no, no more. They should just fucking disband the Pats. <laughs> a team, that, a team that's probably worth five hundred million yeah, dollars. Just disband like, them. Yeah, they don't exist yeah, anymore. You guys get a new team. <laughs> <laughs> that, now, what do you think more? Like, like, all right, like. Oh, these, Q, make a move to another city. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Yeah, the like Staten the fucking yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now all of a sudden, Q's a fan. Yeah, now, man, now I got a jersey. <laughs> we'll fucking end up playing in New Jersey. <laughs> um, yeah. These these Japanese uh, journalists that are being held by ISIS. Have you heard about this? Uh, okay. All right. They they're saying if they don't get two hundred million dollars, they're gonna they're gonna behead them. Um, and the deadline's tomorrow. I believe Ooh. so, yeah. Now, this deadline comes and they behead these guys, which they're probably going to do because they behead people left and right over there. Now, on the other hand, they pull the Pats out of the Super Bowl. What's the story? Lead? <laughs> what, what, what's the story? Yeah. I think we know. Oh, yeah. no. No, it's not even, what's, it's not what's even the, a question. Where's the outrage go? Well, what, no, answer this, though. Not even yeah. outrage. What, what CNN, Fox, CS, CSB, NBC, whatever, yeah. whatever the fuck it is, NBC. Yeah, my favorite channel. <laughs> yeah, CSNBC, <laughs> yeah, True TV. What story do they lead with? Uh, that's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm putting forward to the puck nuts. I already know already. It's it's football, bro. Yeah. Oh, it definitely is. It's football. Yeah. And yeah. then and then after and after you have all the talking heads talk about about what just happened in the NFL. Right. Maybe there's time to talk about those two poor Japanese journalists. It's Repeat expensive. offender, Q. You got to take. Ming, repeat offender. I agree with that, which is why they were looked at so so, so closely. So you don't think they were underinflating that? balls like the whole season then? Well, they say a lot of teams do do it. So there will be that cue. There will be like, hey, other teams do it. You've got to you've got to, you've got to go after everybody then. How do you know, how do they know other teams do it? The other teams have admitted that they, that they've done it. All right. <laughs> well, the other the, that's, that's okay with it. that's fine. <laughs> the other the other thing about like let's say that you you're like okay you're not in the Super Bowl and then technically I assume they would take the win away from the Patriots right? Right, right so now all those people who bet legally or otherwise now suddenly are like wait I won well if they won you already got your money you're ready it's the people yeah. who lost what about them right. right they want their money too. Well, how do you go after? Uh, yeah, how do you go after You're going to have to go to your bookie and fucking yeah, yeah. slap them around. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it, it's it's a clusterfuck, you. Well, they put they put us in this position, Belichick, but, and it's an interesting one though. If you're a sports fan, it's interesting. I want to, I like you, Q. I want to see. I'm almost since I have no dog in the fight. Right. I just want to see the circus. Yeah. I just want to see the NFL put in that uncomfortable position. To see what they have to do now. You created this monster, <laughs> which is the NFL, and right. it's like shitting money left and right. Yeah, it's so big it can't, you know, that you can't have anything hurt the NFL, right? Other than like players beating on kids and beating their girlfriend. Even that doesn't hurt them that much. No, it doesn't. But no, <laughs> yeah. but that shouldn't hurt them. I don't think. Like they're not responsible for what their players do. They should kick those players out. 
but I don't think they're responsible for the behavior. It's their response that they're responsible for. Right. And when they're in their response is pretty crummy. And oh, it's on, awful. But on, you got on f- both of those accounts, yeah, of they course. dropped. They fumbled the ball like it was deflated. Right. <laughs> no, like it was overinflated. Yeah. Like they couldn't get a grip on that it. chick. Oh, looked, okay. That mm. chick looked deflated as he dragged her out of the <laughs> elevator. <Yeah. laughs> but what do you expect from sports fans? Well, I'm a sports get, fan. I'm not, your, I'm, not, I'm not some bloodthirsty uncouth. That's not what I mean. I think that like you, some people get such loyalty. To, I think it's a, a very similar to comic book fans when something changes and everybody gets so fucking angry for no goddamn reason. I'm a comic book fan, and I would never allow myself to ever get passionate about something that's so stupid as a character's new costume. Right. But you see people do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that, especially that's something I mean. you have absolutely no control over. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Yeah. There's well, nothing you can do if you get mad or not. Sports is really the same thing. Yeah, like unless you have money on a game, it's just like when you get down yeah. to it, you don't understand you. you, you know, well, yeah, you do. No, I get you, into you've it. Giving your heart to a team. Sure, I've done it, and I, and I get into it as I don't have time anymore. But like, yeah, like I've gotten way, way into it, so I get it. But it's just like if you look, and I've gotten upset about comic book things too. But it's like at the end of the day, I sit there and I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> Who gives a you shit? Know, well, yeah, it's because you're a bit more introspective. Yeah. Okay. Than, than the common man. Oh, thank you, buddy. No, if if that ever happens again, you should um, record it and relentlessly call a comic book store and hassle them about the costume change. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you got upset about a a, a comic book um, happening? It's like last week. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Where you were like, you were brought on. You were on the edge. Oh, that's never yeah. happened. Oh, like, <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> no, that's never happened. I would tell you if that happened. Uh, but I tell you what, I didn't like when they when they uh, when they wiped. Get out of my way, you little chessy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm taking out of my cats. Yeah. No, that would never happen. Uh, I've White gotten, I've back. gotten annoyed that uh, that they wiped out Wally West and replaced him with Barry Allen. There was a sentimental thing there where I was just like, I want to read about this fucking and, hurt. And how long did you, did you carry this emotional? Oh, package? I mean, I'm, this is like a day or two. <laughs> like, a day or two. <laughs> yeah, maybe a week, maybe a week tops. <laughs> Don't, don't let you know how emotional he gets. Yeah, yeah, but it usually is. Uh, hopefully, it's about something significant in his life. Not Wally West. Fuck <laughs> yeah. that, man. Like Wally West like is awesome. ISIS yeah, but that's like saying. But then that's like saying like <laughs> you can't get upset about anything. Anything. Q, well, the hold on on your yeah. on your. You wake up tomorrow morning. Yeah. And you I hopefully have when you wake up, you check your computer. You have your news. Yeah. That pops up. Yeah. There's two links. Wally West is coming back. And update on the the Japanese journalist. Which one you click on first? Oh man, Wally West. <laughs> well, look, those guys. Whatever happens to them is going to happen, no matter well, whether Jack, I click that link. Why are they going to pay the money, though? Why aren't they going to pay the money? Yeah. Well, you, then you're giving an orga, uh, a terrorist organization two million dollars to two hundred million. Oh, two hundred million. Two, yeah, two hundred. Sorry, two hundred million dollars to carry out whatever nefarious deeds. They want to basically that organize a terrorist attack that either. very well could be against you. <laughs> right. Well, it, well, it right. should guarantee you that because how can they ever ask for money again then? Yeah. I mean they should be as good as their word. <laughs> 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 but let's be honest though. If you don't give those guys back mm-hmm. – you can never kidnap anybody else again and expect any more. Because you have two hundred million dollars. So what more do you need? We're talking about other upstarts. Well, you, you you've messed it up for all of them. They don't. You don't care. No, I don't know. I, I say I say that you probably would give those journalists Just back if you out got of the honor. Money. Like to Not honor, honor, but like hey, if you want, you, Just good business practice. Yeah, it really. If you want yeah. to keep doing it. You give those journalists back. Was I talking to you, Q, about it? About the the yeah, I was about the quality of the video too. It's like with all oh, this money, <laughs> we had a good chance. <laughs> we were dying laughing about this one on the phone with uh, with the, the quality of video. The, the quality of video that comes out with people like this. Like I, I was at the doctor when they, they have a TV up there, and I, that's the first I had heard of it. These two sad sack looking Japanese guys, oh, um, understandably so. I'd say so. Yeah, they look like prisoners though. They are in orange. Uh, and uh, Q's point was he, he's like, why the fuck do they always have a camera that appears to have been like manufactured a, in the eighties by a Casio, 80s Casio or something? Camera. It's always, I mean, I think even, it, I even think an it iPhone, lends even more like that gritty green. Yeah. It looks even creepier. Yeah. It, they should have shot it in 4K. <laughs> well, then we started HD. talking about if we got captured by ISIS, how annoyed we'd be that our videos were not crystal clear. Yeah, you want HD? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, hold on, hold on. Is this 1080p? Hold right, on. exactly. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's go. I hope, I hope that um, 
like have they tried to negotiate to get the money a little bit more reasonable? Yeah, what I what I heard was that they that the, the reason they picked the number two hundred million is because that's what Japan pledged to aid not uh, not even army not not even to military they pledged to aid of the victims of of these crimes and isis was like all right well you got 200 million for them we want 200 million but i heard through back channels that they've approached the japanese government with a sum of like eight or nine million but so one's one's a sizzle and it's one fairly million. reasonable i mean yeah I, I wasn't. I'd aware be like, of "Fucking this. pay it, get me the fuck out of here." I, I hadn't read much about it. Um, it is an unlikely friendship that ties the fate of war correspondent Kenji Goto and troubled loner Haruna Yu, Yu, Yukawa, the two Japanese hostages who are held. So you got a war correspondent who's like, "Oh man, I got to try to help this guy out," and in the process, gets was snagged he, by these fucking maniacs. Uh, it just says war troubled correspondent. Loner? Why is there a, lo- a Japanese loner? Over uh, the over East. there, he dreamed of. He wanted to start a security. Co- See this, I know a lot about because I yeah, I give ahead. a shit about this. It's not like Super Bowl wasn't here or anything. He wanted to start a. Uh, his wife left him. He was sort of driftless and aimless. So he was like, if I go to this war war torn region, I can get experience that will let me start a uh, security company. He's like, I want to go there, study it, study all the all the. What is a security company? What does that mean? He doesn't know either, obviously. <laughs> You mean like keep you pick up secure. money at the bank and bring no, it? To no, no. I think I think for like people You're going to that about region. A mercenary? No, no, no. Like, well, like if you know you have right? to, go, yeah, like, oh, a pri- okay. like a private security detail type type situation. So he would be an armed security. Like I'll 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 bring. We you want to do certain- tell him tell him Steve Dave Tel Aviv, right? So right. we head over there for our show. We would hire this guy's company. Oh, no, not this, not this, company. this guy's company, but <laughs> right. We would hire a company <laughs> like that. To to guard us. You, I mean, first off, not to not to dis- disparage anybody, but if you got over there, you're like, hey, I need a security company, and out the bat, and you're like, and you you fall. Here's here's his main office over there, and a Japanese guy walked out in the middle in the Middle East. Wouldn't you be like, right? Huh? Mm. Wouldn't you want a security company to be of that land? You want you want like an Arab guy, so yeah. that, <laughs> so that he sort of mixes in rather right. than. <laughs> The proverbial I, sore I thumb. I, guess. I, I mean, come on, be honest. I mean, it would be it would be like really strange, right? You would think like, okay, strange. this guy probably knows the landscape a little better. He can he at least can speak, speak the language. The language yeah. right. So if I walked out, has, has some connections. Well, I don't the think that this guy. I don't think this guy was like, I'm going to be the bodyguard. I think he was going there to make the connections to form the company, so that he would hire the guy there to. Because you would know who to hire. Who the fuck would you know? You'd get there and be like, where do I get a bodyguard? A taxi driver would be like, I'll buy you a bodyguard, whatever. You, you'd never get anything. This guy wants to put the company together that employers, employs the – Yeah, he's like the, the middleman. Well, yeah, like he's going to hire the muscle. He's going to hire exactly. He's going to hire up the Middle land. Eastern right. men as his employees to be his he's – not, he He's not safeguarding you mm. personally. No, because right. who wants that? Right. <laughs> Wow, this is really fucked up. I didn't know that I, – I hadn't read the story. Um, but I guess like the dude got nabbed, the, the loner guy and uh, – The would-be security guy. The would-be security guy and his friend was like, oh, I, I feel terrible for him. And as a journalist, he thought that he might be able to talk to these guys. Yeah. And they were like uh, – Now know, we have fuck you. you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Off with yeah. your head. Um, he says, I've seen horrible places and I've risked my life, but I know that God, somehow God will always save me. And then later on, cites the Bible, do not put the Lord your God to the test. <laughs> what does that mean? I guess he was saying like in, originally he was like, I have enough faith in God that like nothing bad's going to happen. Yeah. And then there's – I guess there's a passage in the Bible that says do not put the Lord your God to the test. So he's like, fuck just, it. What he I, did. Yeah, I, sh- I shouldn't it's have like, tested oops. him. <laughs> well, why, he actually said this? Yeah, this is a quote. That he did, said while in, in captivity? Uh, I suppose so. How horrible that's got to be over there, man. Oh, no, no. He said in a, a, a May article for the Japanese publication Christian Today. So maybe he say, like he was talking about the other guy. Like he has faith, but it, it has nothing to do with God. It's like asshole. If you're going to go over to the fucking Middle East or wherever the fuck they caught this guy. Where was it? Afghanistan or somewhere else? I don't even know where it was. Is there any amount of money, Q, if you're a journalist, you'd go cover Syria. That? Uh, no. no. I, li- right? I live in a first world country. I'm, I'm sticking to first world countries. You've got to, you do have to t- tip your hat 
to people who will go over there and be like, I'll cover this. Or fucking shake your head. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean yes. it's brave, You know what? Man. You're right. Tip your hat to the people that go over and cover it, but shake your head at the people who are like, oh, I can help build or rebuild Iraq. I don't know if I'd shake my head. I mean, maybe there is maybe there is some – no, there's no doubt. There is some level of like I want to do some good. I want to help. But yeah. the dangers far outweigh – you know, common sense has to give in at a certain point. I, I think mean, a lot of it's about money, though. It's like these private contractors go in there <laughs> seeing fucking dollar signs. Yeah, they like, clean slate. They can build, they're, they're like, they do the, whatever they want. The entire fucking country is in ruins. Like, do you know how much money yeah. like my well, company can make fixing this up? Yeah, but and then it's money. Like, oh, hey, what's going on? What's with the uh, what's with the old video camera? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, man. If you if you if if you were assigned, you're a reporter, you're assigned somewhere over there. I'm not going. No way, man. No fucking mm-hmm. way. Can you imagine? I don't know if, you, if this happens to you when you go overseas. Do you ever get like uh, bowel problems because you're not at home? Water no, or anything? No, not really. No? But I only go to first world countries really. So, Have you ever been to a third world country? Talking about Costa Rica. Well, aside from Costa Rica, I guess. <laughs> but Costa Rica is not even strictly – Costa Rica is not a shithole. It's minute. not a shithole but it is considered it was, third yeah. world, yeah. It's con- wait a minute. 90%, 98% of the country – Yeah, but I think that in terms of like – like what defines a first world versus third world? Because it's a pe- it's the the country is known Quality for being peaceful and video cameras. <laughs> and video cam- uh, I don't think they have they have problems like that. They're drinking water. Mm, they don't have problems like that. There, their toilets. Like when you wipe your ass in Costa Rica, you can't flush it. You have to put it in a in a little uh, in a little uh, container, like oh. a garbage pail next to the toilet. Oh, so, you, I'd, so there's I'd, I'd potentially have to do Tom Brady's used toiletries. Oh, I looked. <laughs> you <laughs> <slip> around. <laughs> yeah, I tried to find it. I couldn't. I, I dug it. I dug around in the yard, see if they put it back there. I couldn't find it anyway. Really? I've never heard that before. Yeah. And so, and, what happens if you got? What happens if you got a? Well, they have toilet paper, but just they, they just can't flush it. Whoa. Yeah, and the the lights are a lot of the electricity in the country is is uh, powered from the volcano. So the lights flicker at night. That Ariel, the yeah. yeah. So like you'll see the lights flicker a little bit. It's cool though, but it doesn't work against it. It all kind of works for it. You Have know? you ever been in a country that you had to do that before? Like you couldn't flush a toilet. Why are you allowed to flush your waste but not the paper? Because the waste breaks. It's like it's like biodegradable. The paper isn't. No, I, it just it's. I guess it is. Yeah, but it just clogs up. It's Why just was it's, that the it's, it's hotel? It's so pressure. shitty. I think it's just water pressure. It Dude, when there. I went there, literally the their main highway, which had just been built recently, and they were very proud of it, was um, approximately the size of like um, it wasn't even as big as Route 18, Pro- like closer to uh, 520, uh, maybe. You know, like going to Brookdale, that uh, yeah, the one lane the road. road over there. Sure. Yeah, yeah, one lane going either way, mm-hmm. and you see people on the walking on the side with machetes and shit. Because they, wow. uh, the I think it's the palm oil business is really big down right. there. You know that and cattle grazing. Although they have the shittiest beef of all time. They do have shitty beef, but it's they, disgusting. they have a lot of coffee and a lot of uh, fish beef. and stuff. Yeah, beautiful country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't flush. Did you see like, the volcano? Yeah, like, did you? I didn't go. I went on the other side. I went on the peninsula. Uh, okay. Yeah. When I went up there, there's um, you know, there's a volcano, and at night you you could feel it rumble. Really. Um, I mean, at the time I went, this was, Jesus, 15 years ago. But at night, you could see the top glowing. Get out. Yeah, oh, that's it pretty was, cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. See, that's a third world country that I can get behind. Not one where they're fucking chopping people's heads off and shit like that. Understandable. And let me tell you something. I think that, like, where does that shit, this crazy shit go on in South America? I know the drugs and the, oh my Mexico God, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, Brazil. Like Brazil, Brazil, Brazil's, like Brazil <laughs> Colombia. Yeah, they're some <laughs> of the most dangerous countries on yeah. earth. They are, right? Yeah. 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 Still. Still rather go there than fucking than 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 uh, the Middle East. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I, have to, I mean, it's not like I'd be happy to be going. No, but no, I'd be no. Like, well, if I got to choose one or the other, I'm definitely picking some South right. American country than one of these war torn Middle Eastern countries. I was uh, I was once um, I had a plan, and someone made a comment that changed my mind about travel. And I'll never know, but it could very well have saved my life knowing uh, what I know now or even knew back then. But way back, like when we still worked at the Rec, I had um, designs to 
uh, train and I was going to ride my bike from, I was going to take it from Texas, go over the border to uh, Ciudad Juarez. Mm. And I wanted to ride my bike all the way down to Belize. And upon telling this person and the second person that I was doing it, the first person was like, are you crazy? Like you'll be killed. Mm. And I was like, what are you talking about? And they went on to talk about how dangerous could be and people getting robbed and all that other shit. And it actually made me say like, you know what? That's uh, maybe they're right. That's probably not a fucking great idea. Mm. You know who that person was? Who's that? Deborah Flanagan. Get out. Yep. Your wife. Wait a minute, but she would have no knowledge of the terrain <laughs> or any reason to say anything to back up I, I that. This was like a local who told you. I don't that. know. Yeah, why. No, right. She's like, never been there. She has. No. No, she would have no no information. I don't know why she said it to, 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 to even say such a thing. But, but she reads, right? Uh, yeah, but I maybe still, she read an article or something still, in National Geographic. I still think maybe she meant because she didn't think your writing skills were that good, not because of the. Uh, <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> it's not like if I said it today. <laughs> no. I was very in shape back then, and I remember her reasoning being like, "She was like, that's too dangerous." I mean, of she the number think, of times, but, but she, but she would say that if you said you were going from. Like to San Canada. Francisco to San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> that it's too dangerous? Yes. <laughs> She's like, there's rebels on Route 90. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. think – I'm sorry to say I've shattered maybe what you thought was some really good w- wisdom that saved your life. Mm-hmm. But regardless, <laughs> regardless of her reasoning though, that's how I took it. OK. Yeah, but she really was the reason that I second thought – like I, guess I, I gave she another would, thought and I was she, like – I'm going to ask her this later. I'm going to ask, do you remember ever telling Brian? <laughs> That she's going to be like, well, no I, way, she'll I never remember. Even, I don't think I ever remember even having a conversation that had an ending with Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I remember many times telling me he was crazy. <laughs> I mean, how what do they hope to accomplish killing two people at a time? Dude, it's, re- it's just religion, man. They, they yeah. believe they got they, they got uh, Muhammad on their side. Why wouldn't they succeed? Whatever they want to do, it leads. You know, until uh, unless we're we're not done with the puck nuts minute, and are we all uh, wrapped think, up with I that? I think it's. I mean, hey, we wait in. There's really nothing left to. Uh, we'll wait and see. Who, who's your pick though? Before we go, Seattle or Patriots? Me. Uh, um, even with under underinflated or inflated balls, uh, I think Patriots look pretty. Patriots strong. are gonna are gonna knock off the defending champs. Yeah. Huh? Shit, you want to put a hundred bucks on the game? Is there a I, line? Oh, this is interesting. Uh-huh. BQ. I've done this already. I lost big. Uh, I remember that one. Yeah. I'll take Seattle for a hundred. So I got to pay out two hundred if they lose. This is. But you don't think they're going to lose? Remember how much it wrecked me when I bet against Tebow? I'm not taking. I'm not betting. <laughs> well, anymore. Brian, well, I you forgot going about Tebow. Record more. now is as. You well, come on, man. I'm not this betting is, anymore. This is exciting. I mean, call me a puss. Whatever. Well, I'll take. I'll puss. take. I'll take the opposite side. I'll, I'll go for a hundred. What's the line? And I'll oh. take whatever team you don't want, just just to have like. What is the line? Just wanna, to have a be I just want to bet, Bing. Oh, I know. <laughs> take his money. <laughs> Another one. Take you. I, I could just see the pain look in his face <laughs> when you said that. He he's was not, called on his bullshit. Did you see his body just jerk? He's like, you said you'll take a hundred for that. <laughs> I just don't have bad. This I, is a wealthy man. Yes. Too. Like you know, this, this guy has fucking guy. money. This is a fucking guy who's on TV. He's got like four jobs. This guy. He's going to a con in a couple weeks. You can make a hundred dollars in ten minutes. You fucking pussy. Dude, he will literally make $400 to walk through the door of the hotel room. <laughs> That's how he starts out, right? What are you talking about? Yeah, Atlantic you City. Got oh, right. You were just <laughs> fucking floating on air about Yeah, but I mean, I'm not just going to give away. <laughs> I'm not and I'm not giving away. I just have bad luck when it comes to betting. This has gone off, gone on record with this. How much did you lose to Tebow? It was 100 Tebow? bucks. 100? Who'd you lose it to? I lost it to a bookie. I, 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 uh. I used a bookie. Plus 10%. Oh thing. shit! I, I bet once when I when I used to work in Westwood, and this is really like this is not me. And when I tell you the story, you're going to be like, "The fuck's the matter with you?" It's probably the tenth time you'll say that during this pod. But uh, this guy came in very well dressed and seemed to know a lot about Kevin and like the inner like view askew stuff. Mm. And he talked about how he was going to go to the racetrack, and I was like, "Really? I've never been to a racetrack before, like the uh, the horses and shit." And he said, "Yeah, it's fun. You you should go sometime." Mm. He goes, um, "He goes. I got a line on a on a on a horse." He was like, "I can place a bet for you if you want me to." And I was like, Good "Really? Lord. What's that?" Good lord! Don't tell you just gave some stranger that just walked in a hundred like money. So you don't want to hear that part of the story? <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I gave him a hundred dollars. 
because he had been in the store before and the only time he came back after that was, was to tell me that – no, he told me. He was like, ah, oh, we lost. <laughs> but, but he wasn't lying. I mean the – You checked, um, checked the, the I race? Checked, I checked the, the race the and results? I looked at the horses. Yeah. And um, actually, you know what? I listened to it on the, the radio station that he told me it would be on. So I listened to it on the radio station, but I couldn't make head or tails well, of, of what the not. fuck yeah, was going like on. Freaking Greek. Yeah, so I had to go Greek? and um, yeah, the lines, the betting lines, whatever. It's, oh, yeah, okay. I, I thought you meant it was, like, man, it was like on Greek radio. Yeah, no, yeah, this is all Greek radio, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, <laughs> but fucking in horse racing. <laughs> um, they uh, now I, I looked on the internet and I saw that like I the the horse that he had named it really was. You know, or, uh, or in how the race. Are you to know he he put the money down. No, well, if he, I'm he, assuming that he probably didn't and was like, "There's no way this horse is going to win, so okay. I'll just take so his hundred dollars." Horse because he told you it was a good deal. He told you it was a it was his inside info. Yeah, and I had never bet on a horse, and I mean, I probably should have done it while I was at the track. Yeah. Now, how <laughs> rather <laughs> it's fun at the track? How, how not fun? It is not fun at the track. Sure, I've had a it lot of fun at the track. Have you been? Have you gone yes. to a hill? Oh, really? I've never we been. We used to go with the firehouse. We used to go on a trip like once, twice a year. It was great fun. Hmm. Did you put down money? Uh yeah, like insignificant amounts of money. Like you that's know, what people bought, like bucks, a dollar or two or $2, something. Dollars, but yeah, it's, it's like fucking. I'd rather watch grass grow. It's that boring, it's, huh? Oh my god! I had a yeah. good time. But I told Walt that I meant to bring maybe, it. Maybe alcohol. Uh, well, it was there when you're there. We're there with a group of twenty guys. Yeah. We're having dinner. We're drinking. Mm. It's definitely a better night. Yeah. So somebody didn't just come back a couple of days later and be like, <laughs> no, you "Lost a hundred dollars." Oh, we can't end the puck so puck not many yet. We uh, Brian and I are going to a sporting event of sorts this weekend. Wrestling? Mm, yeah. <laughs> we're going to uh, – yeah, we're well, going I mean, to uh, – uh, 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 Of sorts. When you say <laughs> of sorts, you know it's – Sports other, entertainment. It's, it's not really sports. Uh, yeah, we're going to the Royal Rumble in Philadelphia Sunday night. Wow. Yeah. I'll be there to uh, as a um, – We're putting on an investigative reporter. Who was the big match that night? It's the Royal Rumble, so it's actually like – Like 20 guys, 20 guys in, the in the ring at once. Throwing who's the, the who's your favorite to win that? I don't even. God, let me give you a hundred dollars to put on. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is maybe Ric Flair still wrestling. He was on Raw this week. He's not he wrestling wrestled? anymore. He's like a little old, but he still got it in Hulk, terms of Hulk like the Hogan mic. wrestling this weekend. Hulk was there. He didn't. He didn't wrestle. They're too old to wrestle, but they're still Macho good. Macho Man. I haven't seen he's, Macho uh, Man. I believe he's no longer Andre the Giant. Yeah. Yeah. No, no he's, he's dead, Macho Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Alden Warrior is no longer. Alden Warrior died yeah. recently. Yeah. yeah. About Triple H. Oh, Triple I know H. Steve Austin. Steve Austin can't wrestle anymore. Rock. He's too big to 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 oh, go. Fuck. How come? How come? Uh, Austin, Steve Austin can't. Wrestle. He's his neck and neck. Uh, he's not allowed to wrestle anymore. Who is that guy? It was a wrestler, Walt. I think you told me you met him. You, I mean, when you were Sergeant like a Slaughter. kid. No, it was a weird. <laughs> you just named the guy wrestling. had a weird no, no, name. I, I, I did meet him. We were in Atlantic. I was in Atlantic no, City, my sister did. or maybe you were with me. I, I don't know why, but I remember we were in like a pizza place, and his picture was on the wall. Oh, it was a wrestler from the fucking fifties. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a, like one of the very first wrestlers like, ever. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yes, that was it was it. Bruno. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was it. He's yeah. still alive. Bruno's still, still alive. He's still alive. He's ancient, but is he's he going to be there. Wow. He's not going to be there now. <laughs> Just to keep. Would you bet on wrestling, Hugh? Do they um, take odds on wrestling I don't, in Vegas, I don't, in Atlantic I don't, City? No, I bet you no. they do. They take no odds way. on everything, don't it's, they? They know who's going to win. They already know who's going to win. Right? Sure, of course. It's predetermined. But I think you could bet on like TV shows and shit there. Like at the, at the can you bet on anything in Vegas? Uh, well, so if you could bet on, what do you mean bet on TV shows? What like on fucking like the outcome of something? Yeah. Oh yeah, like who's gonna like on Survivor? Who's gonna like win? on Walking yeah, Dead? Yeah, yeah. Like, who's, who's gonna make it to the, ne- end, the end of the season? I, it's not my understanding. So I, why you could bet you, anything? So why would you, if you're not involved in the television show, just go make some bets? And if you know the outcome, yeah, I guess they don't do it then. Well, you're friends with some of those guys. Don't you know some of those guys? Well, maybe there's a little Impractical Jokers action? Yeah, but you can't. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, now we're fucking gonna talking. going to get punished this week? Yeah, we are. <laughs> now we're talking. Inside info, Q? Uh, I, I, I'm willing to run this scam. Yeah. We could start a gambling pool. It's safe to fucking go against fucking I'll throw a match. Or disorganized. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Brian, give me a hundred bucks. I'll take care of it. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm who excited. You, who you got? What made you want to go see wrestling? No, I called him. Q just asked me. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. And I figured I'd go down there as a impartial observer for Tell Him Steve Dave. I thought it'd be fun. To you guys should, you should, I should, is this in Philly? You want to come? No. Eh. Um, <laughs> but you guys should fucking while you make it make a, a day trip of it and fucking stop in on Oz and see where fucking I think that's a great idea. Where the claymation. Well, that's at. not a bad idea. I think that's a fantastic. Yeah, let's idea. do that. 
I like that. All right. That's good. Unannounced. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I want, the, no, I don't even want the you door to knock on the door. I want you to kick the door open. <laughs> the door. And if he's not fucking working on, in clay, I'll do it. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to fucking give him the old fucking right. German tooth action cue. That's a good idea. I like that. When the, you know. What's that, like um, Marathon Man, you mean? Like, oh, no, and you got his tooth knocked out in, in Germany. Yeah. Oh, okay. The cops punched me out. Okay, knock your tooth out? Yeah. I okay. thought you meant like uh, Dustin Hoffman Marathon. Oh, man. we pulled his tooth out. We're with like, is it, is safe, it safe, Oz? And we're like pulling his fucking teeth out of his head, uh, drilling into him and shit. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. I am excited about Sunday. Yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah. How much did it take a cost for that? Come on. Yeah. Oh, Come on. Oh, okay. How much kind of a question is that? Fucking, what's a normal person pay? Palms for something like this? Uh, mm-hmm. You know, a little back slapping, a little, a little, how, how you doing, buddy? Stuff like that. I have I'm to on blow on. one of the wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah We're means. talking over a hundred dollars for a normal person. Um, I, I think it depends. It's like anything else. It's where you're sitting. Okay, There's sure. definitely two hundred fifty dollars. Where are you sitting? Are you sitting with anybody? I don't know. When you get when you take the tickets that you can get, I get right. that you just take them, but. You Last think, time oh, I went to be in general. In, in well, when public, I went to general Saturday, public, I went to Raw a few months back, and we I was in like fourth row. So I'm hoping that it's fourth row. So it's, you could get splattered by some sweat. In the I would row, like right? to get some sweat or blood on me. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Or like some like when um, what was his name and Rocky Three Sweet Lips was that it? Oh, just Thunder Lips. Out of the ring. Thunder Lips. Yeah. Like I want to yeah. get somebody thrown. Well, that's on what top it is. The, that's how you. That's how you get eliminated from the Royal Rumble. You were all in the you ring. Get thrown out of the ring. You have to go over the top rope. Yeah. Well, Last man standing. Last man standing. It's pretty exciting, actually. Hmm. You know, you'll all see. Right. I will see. I'll be there. There's some surprises. Surprises all around. All right. Yeah. The okay. surprise will be if I if he shows up. The surprise will be if you're not sitting by yourself. <laughs> Garrett, hundred <laughs> percent. Oh man, we've heard that was hundred percent. This is how we keep me want some action. <laughs> on that. <laughs> this is a this is a, my lock of the week, man. Uh, later on, you can Photoshop in pictures of me and you. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. All right, Nature Box. Let's just no no fancy bells or whistles. Go to naturebox.com slash tsd. Q likes done. <laughs> Q likes Q likes it, and that's all you need to know. Uh, the vanilla granola is is uh, one of my favorite new foods I've ever tried as an adult. That's all uh, we need, right? That's all we need for Nature Box. Nature Box. That's it. Nature Box. No, no, that's it. Dot com man. slash tsd. <laughs> Uh, good snacking. Vanilla granola. Good it snacking. Happen. Go there. Well, what do they get? What What do they get? They, you you need to know they've that. Heard it. Of, they've heard it. You need to know it though. We gotta tell them. You get like a free trial. It's right? fifteen seconds. That's all we need. We've given them. We've given them four times what they need. Nature right. Box. I'm so sorry. I tried. I tried so hard for you. Go to naturebox.com and you're gonna find out what you get. Slash T E S D. I'm a whole new fucking person after last night. Really? What happened last night? I'll tell you after I, I I get your opinion on this. I don't know if if you you heard about this yet. Very shortly, um, this whole uh, Miss Universe, yes, the incident photo bang. bomb incident. Yes, is this Miss Universe? Is this a beauty pageant? This or is a this, beauty or is this, pageant. Is this bodybuilding? A uh, beauty pageant. And, no muscles. Um, I mean, they got muscles. Well, I mean, not like you know where they look like they're ripped, like their body. No, no, this isn't like. Oh no, it's not that kind of competition. It's a beauty contest, not okay. like fucking gotcha. cut yeah, and yeah. shit. Talent, swimwear, right. whatever, evening gown, all that. Mm. Um, so there's a picture posted, Walt, to Instagram with um, Miss Slovenia, Miss Japan, Miss Lebanon, and Miss Israel, right? right. Uh, the picture shows the four smiling beauty queens of Miami with the caption, good morning from us. But it wasn't long before the Lebanese contestant started started feeling uh, – I'm sorry. I lost my place. Oh, started, started feeling the heat for posing with the Israeli con- uh, contestant. Lebanon considers Israel enemy an enemy state and bans contact between the two countries. Oh, God. Uh, she took to uh, social media to defend herself, the, the Lebanese girl. She said the Israeli girl jumped in and photobombed the three other beauty queens. She posted the picture but cropped out the Israeli cunt, uh, contestant. Uh, I was very cautious to avoid being in any photo or communications with Ms. Israel who tried several times to take a photo of me. Uh, I was having a photo with them. She jumped in, took a selfie, and put it on her social media. Now, this is the kind of thing that, like, if a Miss Universe, after she wins a crown, and it's shown that, like, she took risque pictures, mm-hmm. she's disqualified, loses her crown, all that other shit. Like like the cults. How the fuck? Like the what? 
The Indianapolis Colts. Like the Colts. Oh, yeah. oh. How the <laughs> so, um <laughs> the Colts. <laughs> yeah, one of their <laughs> one of their fucking breast implants was deflated. <laughs> um how does this this level of prejudice not disqualify a contestant? Well, she's following the rules of a country. Right. So it's I mean, she's not saying she's just saying legally I can't be fraternizing with her. It's not uh, prejudice. I, but you're not you're not in your own country. Yeah. Brian, with so much And mean, in America, you, why this is just a microcosm for the real world though. I'm I'm surprised that you would find that this is even I mean, this is just this just sums up everything yeah. that's going on in the world today. But I think unless you're Jewish or you're an Arab, why the fuck would you care about this in America? Does anybody care? Is this is well, this news? Why, is this worthy why, of reporting? Where did you see it? I, I happen to know that. I, I uh, just happened to cross well, it. How on. do you know? How do you know it is a, a big deal in America? I haven't heard this story. I mean, all I've been hearing about the flate of balls. I didn't hear anything about beauty queens. I don't know. It was just on the the sidebar side of yeah CNN. So I, I I tapped it. I imagine it's it's not getting the play. That you think it's getting? I don't know. I mean, there's I fucking it's a there's headline. It's a, it's a headline. It, Maybe it, this, not the top one. This but is it's a this headline. is from today. Yeah. But you're outraged like, by that? I just think it's weird. Like I, I mean, no, no outraged would be. Outraged would be. They're very. They're very Are beautiful. you surprised that these that this kind of prejudices wouldn't be Let in the beauty we pageant here. as well? I'm not sure that. Uh, no, I'm. I'm not surprised that they exist. I'm not surprised that they oh. exist within the beauty pageant. I am surprised though that somebody would come out publicly. With that level of prejudice, and it doesn't. Well, you know sort why of, she has to. She's getting pressure because she got told next country. thing you know yeah, she's, I mean, she's a, in a fucking orange eventually. t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not. It's this is. She's got to cover her ass. I think the organizer should disqualify her. Yeah, I think it's unbecoming of a fucking of, of what they're supposed to represent. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. I realize <laughs> well, that. Why? But, okay, but let's go. I have a question about Whoa, regarding beauty pageant stuff. She is hot. Are you allowed hot, to? Yeah. Um, Surgically enhance yourself as a beauty contestant. I don't know. I think you might be able to. Why would they that be They all look pretty allowed? fucking perfect. Why would that be allowed? I mean, they're, though? they're flawless creatures. Um, flawless. Yeah, they look pretty. Physically. I, I, I just physically fucking gave you flawless. a flaw. Of course. <laughs> mentally, they're <laughs> basket mentally, cases. Q. Well, you're talking about women, Walt. No, I'm of course about, they're crazy. I'm talking about, I'm talking about you don't even have to oh, mention that. I thought oh. that was just the bottom line. Oh, that's about, BQ's broad thoughts for this week. <laughs> I'm talking about beauty pageant can, um, people uh, who, who run in the beauty pageant circles. I mean, that's yeah. that's pressure. That's um, not being able to eat what you want. I mean, the the for what though? To be deemed that you're pretty. Mm-hmm. That's that's crazy shit. Well, right they there. also back it up with like oh, and money plus, too. I'm sure there's money prizes that are playing. Oh yeah, but they back it up with oh plus you know we have the talent portion and we have the portion where they give them a question and those are always the most fun to watch. Like I think it was Miss North Carolina, who are they like? Forty percent of Americans can't find whatever country on a map. What? Why do you think this is? And her question was, I mean, her answer was the most circuitous. Um, indecipherable bullshit. Right. That like I know I know it must be like you say a lot of pressure, man, because they have to smile the whole time. They have to stand the right way, right. and now they're thrown something that uh, they were they were spending way too much time on. Like, well, is the, are the lights going to affect this uh, lip gloss the right way, mm-hmm. or right. Um, you know, is Miss Jordan going to jump in a selfie with me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know that. Uh, that I guess it, they're not all ready to handle quite because these are off the cuff questions, you know. Listen, I fucked a pageant winner or two in my day, my friend. I do. You, you should know? have asked. I wish you'd asked <laughs> yeah, her. You should have. Yeah, we yeah. Yeah. Well, actually some pillow talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, honey, forty percent of Americans can't find fucking uh, Sweden on a map. <laughs> Hold on a second. I want to show you this globe. Yeah, I got a geography question for you. Before I stick it in, <laughs> I'm going to apply standards to you that go above your beauty and pussy. And depending on that answer, honey, yeah. <laughs> it's going to mean a world yeah. of difference to what yeah. happens in a few minutes. Exactly. It is the deciding factor on whether or not you ride this donkey. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, Moldavia's gross domestic product. <laughs> Talk to me about Wally West, honey. <laughs> what is the little resources of the, of the state of Indiana where the Colts play? Did you hear that fucked up shit? You know, forget that. I once sucked the stains out of Tom Brady's <laughs> vacation sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that place, Costa Rica. The second we walked into our uh, hotel room, there was a fucking scorpion on the bed. Like yeah. a scorpion. Powerful. Yeah, it was. Scary. We saw a lot of lizards, but no scorpions. A lot of lizards, and when you went to the beach, were there a lot of monkeys on the beach too? Monkeys and dogs everywhere. Oh, dogs! Dogs, I didn't see any. Oh dogs. my god, it was there were there were fucking dogs everywhere, and I had so much. I asked, I was like, "What's up with all the dogs? Wild dogs or just roaming packs?" They're wild, not wild. They're they're free domesticated dogs. I guess is the way to put it. They're like pe- – they're pets. Oh, they're like they have these, this real – They so go wild. home at night to a place? Yeah, they all have like homes that they go to at night because the, I asked the guy. I asked the waiter. I was like, what's up with all the fucking dogs walking around? And he says like we – we <laughs> In the restaurant? In the restaurant. It's fucked up. And I only date beauty pageants. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, waiter. Go get me a lobster, fucko. Did <laughs> <laughs> get it? Uh, what are all the dogs doing around? Yeah, only date beauty yes. pageants. Oh, yeah, 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 I got yeah, you. We, we got it. Got it. Scorpions? <laughs> uh, well, he, he said that uh, that they they view animals differently, like how we view pets as like part of the family. Right. They don't do it there. They care about them, but they don't have that same attachment. Uh, attachment, he says. But all the dogs that you see walking the street, this is just what this guy told me. He goes, any vet clinic, and I did notice a bunch of vet clinics while I was there will will. Check them out when they walk by. They'll just call them in and make sure that they're okay. And you believe that? I believe it. Yeah, the dogs all look. You believe that as, as it's just strays walking by that somebody's in the door going, whoosh, whoosh, "Come here." Come I here. tell you why I do over because what? Because they have no paying customers. That are no, there? no, no. I think it's just. I think like it's just. They're like the animal lovers. That's some sort of line that they feed the tourists. By the way, excuse me, sir. Uh, there's a dog collar in my pasta. <laughs> <laughs> no, because none of the dogs were – were they weren't – So they'll check them out and do what? What can they do for them if there's nobody to like, oh, you need some medicine? Who's going to dispense it to them? Well, I mean people do love animals. I mean I don't think that that's out of the realm of possibility. I just yeah, I never heard that. That's, that sounds though. unusual. Yeah. yeah, they they said they just because I mean, and the dogs were well behaved. It wasn't like they were like growling at you or shit like that. They were just like would they, around. okay, so uh, well behaved because they're walking on their own, doing what they want. Would they be so well behaved if some stranger just grabbed them while they walked past a clinic and started to? Well, I don't think the get, vets put a black hood over their fucking heads and, and drag them inside. And uh, like, I think well, how they else just, are they going to get them inside? Videotaping. <laughs> I I don't think they're like. Dogs here with it. That's what I'm saying. They just the dogs are just used to wandering around, so I, they're used to living on like people calling them over and shit like that. I don't think that it's. Uh, I think I just think that he was trying to tell you something to make you feel good. Well, what would make me feel bad? I don't understand. Maybe he was. You were. He was. He thought you were questioning, like, why you let these dogs just run around like this? Do you look? Did you look sad? No, I didn't have tears in my eyes or anything when I was asking him because mm-hmm. the dogs were all healthy and that's what I'm saying. They were all well behaved dogs. It wasn't like it was unusual to see that many dogs walking. Around. I mean, I'm talking. Everywhere you went, there were just dogs walking around. So there's a lot of dog crap all over in the streets? That's in the another restaurant. Thing. That's another thing. I didn't notice any dog crack, crap laying around. Oh. So that would argue that they do take care of the dogs. Yeah, it does sound like it. Who, yeah. Who's they? The Costa Ricans. Yeah, maybe the town or something. Yeah, because there was no dog shit everywhere. Well, I think... You'd never make it down there while you let your dog shit all over. <laughs> <laughs> no plastic right. bags or anything. I think that just because I think just people don't want if it's a big t- if tourism is their biggest thing, right? They may they may have a, a, a like a, a thing where they don't let just people like they have somebody just going around cleaning the dog shit because it's not that sanitary or pleasant to walk around. Okay, so by that, so sidestep dog. I crap. agree with that. So by that logic, they also wouldn't want mangy dogs, That's true too. starved dogs. You know what I mean? All the dogs were in good health and they were of good. But you think that they go home at night to wherever the house they live in? They, like, um, they, they see they go. I bet you they have places that, like, for instance, the hotel that I stayed in had three dogs that lived on the property, and they just go back to the hotel. At and night. at day during the day they just wandered, and at night they came back and they named the dogs, and they they but they weren't they didn't own them, but they fed them every night. 
You know, it's cool. real. I, I hadn't thought of this in the longest time, but now that you mention it, when I went to Costa Rica, the first night I was there, we um, went from the airport to a very nearby hotel, and um, a dog walked into our bedroom and um, jumped up the on the door. Was open. Yeah, yeah. We the we had because we were bringing stuff in, and uh. the, and the dog just walked right into the bedroom. And jumped up on the like the second bed mm -hmm. and just went to sleep. <laughs> he was just laying there. That's what the, that's that's exactly what it's like. The, I was yeah. on a hammock and so a dog jumped up on a how hammock. How the howler monkeys <laughs> and the dogs get along? I'm telling you, I, I, Walt. I honestly think it's just a country where everybody just gets along. <laughs> yeah. It does seem that way, right? Um, I'll tell you that. Do you, have you ever see a dog? You've, I'm not a dog owner, so you would, you could tell me I this. I have two dogs. Have you ever seen a dog smile? But like they did that thing, or they they're not my baring dog, their teeth like they're gonna dog, go for you. Yeah, my dog does it. There was a dog. There was a little yellow dog that every day I opened my thing, he was on my porch, and when I looked up, he would smile. He would do that thing where he shows his teeth, right. and I would feed him, and then he would just go on his way. So it's like I think these dogs are like in on the scam. They're like pigeons. They're like pigeons. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, but dogs. It was sweet. I, I'd rather I'd rather live in a world with dogs as, instead of pigeons. And I'll tell you another. You know thing. what? I'd rather have I'd rather have dog shit on my heel than pigeon shit on my head. It's fucking great. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a patch. <laughs> 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 Speaking of patches, <laughs> we have we have, oh, a, we have a prototype oh, for the four color demons wow. back patch. And that's the biggest patch you'll make, right? That's will you go bigger patch. than that? I don't think you want to go much bigger. Go bigger, than that. go home, Q. I think this is going big though, isn't it? <laughs> what is it like ten by ten? It's uh, I think it's twelve by eleven. I've yeah, seen that's bigger. Big. I've seen bigger. Yeah, but these are made to fit on the back of the leather vests, so these are the standard size for that. Okay. Looks uh, good. How, looks how big good, are right? you suggesting? <laughs> how much big? Like a blanket? <laughs> I'm just saying, a dude who wears a leather vest. I right. mean, bikers are usually not diminutive. Right. They usually got a lot of back. Yeah. Baby got back. Yeah. <laughs> I think that may look a little small. You do realize you get one third of everything that we sell here. Do you want to jump on board here, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think I, I thought I actually had a similar thing when I saw it. What, you what, thought it was too small? I, I was like, oh, is, is that how big it's supposed to be? But yeah. then I measured it, and it is, and I put it on the back of that leather vest that we bought, mm. and it looks perfect. It fits we, we right bought. on it. You're We're sharing a vest. Sharing vest. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was with me when I bought it, and it, it went Tuesday, right Wednesday, back on the back. Dips. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, don't be fucking telling me you can't get down here to drop the patch off. I don't want to hear this bullshit. Sure turn to come to Staten Island and pick it up, yeah. asshole. And we got to flip a coin to see who wears yeah. it to the wrestling match. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, just for the last main event, maybe you guys could put one arm in each. In each yeah. <laughs> so this thing is pretty fucking. <laughs> this thing's pretty. Is awesome. it for sale? Is it up for sale yet? No, no, because this is a woven one. I want to take a look at the embroidered one before I before I pull the trigger. All right, so why, well, why are we bringing it up now then? Because people keep asking me about it if there's any progress on Twitter. So okay. I just wanted to let everybody know there's that progress, and it looks fucking awesome. So at the very least, we have a really good woven patch. Uh, if the embroidered one is of better quality, we'll go with that. But Walt is saying that this one is – Well, the details I don't think will be as sharp. I mean that is unbelievable, that detail. This, this is pretty sharp. So woven will look more like a patch. Right. This I don't know if this looks as as in the traditional – patchy. Right. A patch. So it almost good. looks like um, like not cardboard but like that uh, – Foam. That, yeah. It almost looks like you could take this into the bath and cleanse yourself. With it. I did actually. It works. Um, it doubles as it's a like chamois. It, 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 you know, <laughs> sham wow. But it's uh, it's sturdy. I don't feel like this will. I feel you can get a lot of miles on the on your motorcycle with this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because everybody now is it a heat one or you got to sew it? I on? think it's sewn. Because you wouldn't want to heat leather. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But if you know somebody who can sew well, the lady we saw sewing patches on this shit, she did it so fucking fast. I mean, it was it, unbelievable. It was in seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So it's on the way. So it's on its way. Start. How much is a big patch like that going to run? Uh, I actually don't know what they're charging us, so I got to go <clears> off <throat> that. But I'm going to okay. keep the prices just as low as possible because I want everybody, to, everybody that wants one to have one. I hadn't even fucking seen this. This is not patch related. What? ISIS. This is. Well, what you're going to tell us though? What changed? You said something happened last night that changed your whole outlook. Okay. Um, 
ISIS jihadists publicly executed 13 teenage boys for watching a soccer match. Yeah, oh my god, was, what? I heard that story. That was a couple days. ISIS but, killed 13 can, kids. Can we fucking uh, This is crazy. This is fucking insane. Like how could anybody argue for these people's right to fucking exist? It's insane. Who's arguing for their right to exist? Oh, they're out. Ming was earlier off mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so me and Mike were talking about ISO comics. I haven't I haven't heard anybody argue for their right to exist. Yeah, except It'd be they're... a pretty hard argument to make. We should just go in there and kill them, man. Just get in there and just fucking no tribunals, no, none, of that. none of that. Just shit. fucking just get in there and destroy it. Well, you, but you you walk into a country though. How do you know who's ISIS and who's not? Again, you have to remember they're yeah. not a uniformed army. So these are tough questions. You, I mean, you're going to yeah. invade a country, and who who are you going to kill once you walk in? You got to find out who's know. ISIS and who's not, and that's that's not easy to do. Yeah, you're right about that, man. Oh my god! I just found another fucking pretty funny story, but I'll wait on that. What's your just life changing story? Yeah, what happened? So this sounds a little bit strange. Um, I, uh, what's it, uh, roughly a month, a little bit less. This will not come. Uh, this will not come as a shock to anyone. But I've been in a, a fairly heavy depression and unproductive and, and incapable of uh, of um, leading a normal life. Uh, in any respect, the last five days prior to this, I basically laid in bed all day and just read shit about history. Oh, wow. That's um, awesome. Yeah. World history it's, or American history? Uh, both. Whatever I happen to come across it's on Wikipedia. Or, or depressing history because there's, there's two kinds. Did you touch on Hitler at all? Right. No, I didn't really – I don't think I um, – Read any Hitler stuff? Oh shit, though I I'm glad you reminded me because I fucking found something really cool today that you guys will like. It doesn't really qualify for Hitler, Hitler nah, not quite, but I'll I'll show you in a second. Right. Um, but uh, it, was it inspirational history? That's all I want to know. Like Johnny Appleseed stuff. <laughs> uh, I did read about Davy Crockett, not Johnny Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed was real or not real? Yeah, he was real. Yeah, he was real. Um, I read about uh, the Rough Riders. I think it was a dick, Johnny Appleseed, actually, Whoa. and. Um, Whoa. I think the real Johnny Appleseed was. What do you follow? Do you fuck at ISIS or something over here? <laughs> Let me just look up Johnny Appleseed. You got your machete, man. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm getting beheaded. Out of school, Let's get talking beheaded. about old Johnny. <laughs> old Johnny. <laughs> I just uh, heard he was a why dick. Why would you say that? I've, re- I've read he was a dick in real on, life. Man. He's up there with what Paul Bunyan. And, Let's talk about his yeah. life. I'm going to find out right now. Uh, I, what else did I read about? I read about Teddy Re- Roosevelt and the, the Rough, Rough Riders. Riders. Yeah, yeah, like uh, just a bunch of stuff that I – I got shit done. Teddy Roosevelt? Yeah. Oh, my God. You you read that and you're just like, I have I'm never raised. lived I'm nor will fucking, I ever live. I am a tumor on fucking society. Yeah. Well, I mean, it didn't take reading about the Rough Riders to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I've known that for a while. Um, but uh, it, it was getting to the point where I, I was seriously like, 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 should I check myself into a fucking mental facility? Because it won't, I, it won't change. I can't. Stop this, and I, I I don't know how, and I can't just go to a shrink and fucking get more medication, or or and I, I I don't know what to do. And last night I was laying in bed, and I was um to fall asleep, you know, I say I was listening to headphones and shit, and I turned my head a certain way, and like you ever see those? Uh, I know you have. Uh, especially for New Year's, it's like it's a, it looks like a little tiny jug or bottle, and you pull a string and all that. Yeah, popper. The, yeah, yeah. yeah popper popper. And all the paper shoots yeah. out. You ever see them? Never yeah, seen. of course. Really? Yeah. But it makes a certain sound like a pop, yeah, boop. you know? I have to, I'll have to go on record. I don't think I've ever been to a New Year's party, so that's probably why I've never seen one. Did you not go to Kevin's when he lived over here? I've never been to a New Year's party. You know? Hmm. You're New Year sucks. Yeah. You're not missing. You're not a drinker. You, it's it's a total waste. Of Complete time. waste. All right, go ahead. Um, popper, though. You oh, also the other popper? thing about uh, the history that got me interested was I watched um, Drunk History. Uh, I, you probably have never Drunk seen it. Story time. Drunk, <laughs> that's what Q and I were talking about. Where I, you know, he Q said that kind of sounds like his idea, and I said if Gidham expanded it beyond just being drunk and reading and had fan access fiction. to famous com- comedians, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, maybe you could say like, like it, it's similar in as much as he's drinking and he's on camera. <laughs> uh, 
but you, um, you, I think if you were the creator of Drunk Story Time, you'd be a little bit more peeved that somebody <laughs> stole the idea. Whether or not these <laughs> this guy st- – these are all very accomplished comedians and so to what? say that um, – it. I'm not going to 100 no, percent so, so rule there's out. There's no chance on this planet mm-hmm. that one of these accomplished comedians wasn't on YouTube. <laughs> and so uh, get him, Steve. Davis. I guess get him's on your good side right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, 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 get him's never been on my bad side. I don't know why you guys seem to have this. No, you were this fucking incensed one. with him because uh, you asked him to oh, text yeah, you some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right, but I, I've gone over that. I, 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 he's, he's, he's everything. He's want. back. Yeah, yeah. I, I do a lot. That's of what I, I said to Walt uh, last last time I talked to him. I was like, if we're going to go to the horse races, like let's get some inside info from get him. Yeah, you he's know? he's weird about that job though. He doesn't want to. He's not he's not going to take a chance. So. Yeah, what, what, what kind of isn't he there dancing and shit? Didn't he get in trouble for <laughs> dancing? <laughs> he, yeah, he did get he in just, trouble for <laughs> <laughs> for directing traffic like a fucking like a yeah. dick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So you're um. So anyway, so I'm a laying popper. in bed. Yeah. And the, those. Poppers. Yeah. So um, you had a party at your house, and no one. This is why you had a New Year's popper. Yeah, I'm still drunk. That's why I'm happy. <laughs> no, I didn't have a popper, but I'm just saying, like you, you know what it is, um, and that sound it makes. I that sound when I turn my head. That's what went off oh, in shit. my head. It was if it's like that loud, and I couldn't see for like two to three seconds. Like everything went black, and I and there was a, like a microsecond where I was like, I think I just had a stroke. It felt so fucking weird. It sounded so fucking Jesus weird. Jesus Christ! And no pain, um, no. what's that? No pain. No, no pain. Just sweat. I just mm-hmm. like start to like sweat a little bit. So I got up and I rinsed my face off and I got a drink Could of water. You see that? What's that? I, see while this was going on. I stumbled around for the next five hours, <laughs> <laughs> just falling into shit. Um, no, I could Cold see left by side that. Was paralyzed. I could see. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I uh, went to the kitchen, got got a drink, um, but felt totally normal. It wasn't like I was stumbling around or anything. And this morning, for some reason, when I woke up, everything was gone. The anxiety. And the depression. What did you do? And I felt totally what did you do to normal. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I was just laying you just there. Just turned your head though. Yeah, like I just like turned my head and I put my head on the side, and then it just went like something like popped, a, and now you feel better. Yeah, like is it, that I, possible, Q? I don't. I'm telling you, it's possible. It I know, but like, is it is it a coincidence? I, Do you I think don't it's know, a coincidence? I, I think it's maybe a mental thing, but because you thought maybe you thought you had that thing. Well, oh shit, I don't have a stroke, so life's no. Good. It wasn't a, no, no, no. It wasn't like uh, one of those near death. I appreciate. Like, I didn't even feel that way after I got fucking carjacked. <laughs> but so something like this, it, and especially you know, the pop. I I don't know. Did you like want, I thought did it was you like go see a doctor. No. No. Nope. Do you no. think you think if you feel bad again, you think you make yourself pop again? I would like to. I, mean, I don't. Know, I don't know how I did it or like what what caused it, but it was loud and it was weird and like it just went dark for like a couple seconds. And it, like uh, there was also like afterwards, I was like like uh, it, um, I don't know what an embolism or aneurysm or uh, aneurysm. I guess yeah, that would be like I don't know what that's online, like. Maybe and maybe look up here. I heard a pop in my head and now I feel better. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll look it up. I didn't look it up though hmm. because when I got up today, you were just happy. You were better, feeling better. I just felt different. I won't go so far as to be like, um, like I'm on top of the world, mm. but ninety five percent. Wow, better. It's like an overkill episode over here. To to the point where I was like, yeah, I was. I like started to like question it and second guess it and be like, what's why do Can I? Can I really hear a pop? No, I know I heard the pop. No, I thought you were second. For what sure. are you second guessing then? Like, like, wh- like, why do I feel good today? Like, that's the that's the only thing that I can maybe trace it, turns, it back maybe to. Maybe just turn the corner, man. Uh, you know, remember in school when people used to do that thing where they go like with a piece of paper, no pop. Yeah, yeah. It sound like that. Yeah. Oh, like you, you fold, fold it, it up. up and and yeah. Yes, yeah. It sounded like that inside my head. Folding papers. <laughs> like I didn't hear. She and she, you know, she and Sage were 
doing that at the time. Or shooting a cap gun. And they, and they <laughs> had those bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking doing origami in the, in the next room. up balloons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> heard one pop, not a fuck. <laughs> it's not like I was being fired on by ISIS or something. Uh, it, yeah, it was a very... And you know what? Yeah, maybe don't even question it then. Just yeah, that's what I was going to say. Just go with it now. Yeah. Yeah. Run with it. Except yeah. it was the pop. Except it was the pop and just keep going. Was that you're cured. Yeah. For the Fire first time forever. in God knows how long, I sent you something. Yes, you did. Yeah, you uh, sent pages over and shit. I sent pages over. I, I don't know... That the the only fear that exists is like, oh, what if it doesn't remain? No, uh, but I don't want to overthink it. You we know? got Royal Rumble on Sunday, bro. That's what I'm. You know, I just <laughs> hang hope it your head on pop that back, like you know, <laughs> Saturday night. Yeah, is, it, is is your brain kind of like an like an old knee where it could pop out a joint and pop back in? I wouldn't think so, but I also wouldn't rule it out on me. Oh. You know, I went to the doctor and I I found out that I um I have to you know I have this blood loss shit going on and I have to to um go back and get the scopes again mm-hmm. on fucking both ends. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the doctor's like, you waited too long on purpose because you like I can't like they do this thing where um <laughs> you, you, you fucking you fucking deviant you really want you want an ass scope. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's why you really think he's thinking that. <laughs> yeah, it's like one day over. <laughs> no, I don't think he's thinking that. But it, it was that was I I told Q I was like that was very uh, unpleasant to hear that because it's such a process. And yeah, you got to drink all that nasty shit. Did you ever get it done? No, uh, but you've started the process, and maybe that's maybe that's helping you out mentally as well. Like forward motion is always good. Yeah, like I think these doldrums come in when like you're just stagnant, and you're not. Like you're actually been going to the doctor and. You got a couple of your rib? No, Bro. my knee is uh, at a <laughs> pop. <laughs> you want to stretch it out a second? I was going to get a, no, another right. drink. No, go ahead. All right. Well, I was going to get another drink anyway. Well, right. we, how long have we been going? We've been going a while. We could do two if you want. Um, Does okay. everybody have time? Or well, no? I mean, if you do you want to stay for a second? I, uh, oh, yeah, uh, no, that means we, we want to do – I well, like doing once a week. We can end it and then go – Or we okay. can just make this yeah. a longer right. episode. Yeah, make it a longer episode. I or do you, do you, do you want to stop? It doesn't matter. I, okay. I, I got to talk to you guys about stuff anyway, though. So okay, scopes and okay. So forward motion, you think? Forward motion, is, I think it's good. Is um, behind it all? Yeah, I, that's what I, I've always found that inactivity makes me feel like shit because idle hands, idle hands, and and there's so much potential to do too that not only you're not doing anything, but you're wasting time as well you i said they're getting mad at myself you have, yeah. you have um an opportunity that people would kill for to be creative right uh, with a lot of things that people want to see mm-hmm. and you are not taking advantage of them and i think you're going to regret it so you, you you know and it won't last forever so you gotta you gotta fucking i think you should rephrase and say you weren't yes so, so i was just saying so you gotta <laughs> you gotta be committed to it because it won't be there forever yeah. And Wait, it, what? <laughs> it, it won't. It won't. And if you don't take advantage of it, you will regret it. So I hope, hopefully, yeah. you're. But we. But, but you got to do it now. Yeah. It's, it's I'm telling deep, you, it's not words. It's it's weird and pops. <laughs> um, it, it's it's weird. That's it, a patch. Like, like yeah. Deep, not words. I'm writing and all pops. these down. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes on the case. <laughs> sometimes pops. <laughs> it's when I was cutting the last show. It's funny how many times we go back to patches. <laughs> <laughs> patches was on oh, this guy. Um, I owe I owe I owe an apology to Johnny Appleseed. Oh, he wasn't a dick. You huh? looked it up, huh? Apparently, he, was he not only not a dick. But he was like one of the nicest guys ever. So what do you think made you – you think you heard I, that? I know. I, I, I've i read something about one of these old-timey guys being a real fucking dickhead. And I think I just confused him with someone else. <laughs> and I bet Huge you, animal lover. And I bet you John really? is up, up there right now looking down at you and he forgives you. Well, he seems like the type of guy that would forgive right? me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did more than just plant trees, Q. Yeah, he did. He he did. I don't know what he did, but I bet well, you he did. Well, the big thing was that he, uh, he helped – People and animals. He was a huge animal advocate, animal rights. And what stuff years like was he alive? Let's get into it a little bit here. He seemed to be hot shit when we were in school. I remember <laughs> hearing him on Johnny Appleseed. Everybody. Wait a minute. Everybody. Right. I'll tell you okay. what, he had the name. Like, you know you're bombarded with names when you're doing history? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, American history, and you got to take tests, and you're like, oh, 
That's one name you'll never forget. Everybody, they should have renamed everybody important in history After with a, a clever name. <laughs> right. So you wouldn't forget it. Like the Swamp Fox. I never would forget that. Right. Because, you know, he had that colorful name. Right. Yeah. But anybody else, like, you know, all the Adams, all the Jeffersons, all the... All the other you presidents know, of the United States. States. Yeah. <laughs> there's more than one Jefferson right. who was important. And there's so, more than one Adam. George Jefferson. <laughs> His name was John Chapman. Uh, he was born September 26, 1774 in British America, Massachusetts. Uh, lived to March 11th, 1845, 70 years old. Uh, That's died old in, in that dog. Yeah, that fuck era. yeah. It's right? ancient. Especially when you're running around the countryside. Playing right, and with no trees. shoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He was 70 years old. Died of, they died in Fort Wayne, Indiana, which I've been to. It's a nice town. Did you sleep? Did you fuck where Johnny Appleseed met? You know what? I, <laughs> I might have. I might have. <laughs> gave the apple seed a whole new meaning. <laughs> I did jerk off onto an apple tree there, so maybe that's... <laughs> that was your trip. Maybe, uh, yeah. So it said he was... A uh, pew seed for you. <laughs> Johnny. Take off Take my <laughs> shoes in your memory. <laughs> and jack off onto a... Fucking uh, Granny Smith. Did he have any, was he married? He did not. He never married. Oh, he well, was wife a wife bachelor. Well, huh? yeah. wife's going to put up with that shit, this fucking maniac running around the countryside <laughs> planting oh, he, trees. Oh, yeah, he did. Well, he was a missionary. He was a, he was a Christian missionary. Oh, uh, okay. So that's what he did. He went around. He would plant trees and preach the word? Yep. Yep. He took care. Mm -hmm. he, would you give up your life right now, Ming? Everything you're you're on, you don't know where it's leading. It's you know it, it right. could be on the downside or it could be on the upside. Okay. No one knows. To be Johnny Appleseed, or would you be like, no, I want to be Mitch Chen? <laughs> well, I mean, what are the pros and cons here? You're not on TV. Okay, that's a con. Uh, you yeah, know, you're, not, you're, not, you're not signing fucking autographs at a con. No, that's a, also and getting paid fucking ridiculous amounts of money for doing it. That's also a con. But um, you're but not you're, doing but all you're, those you're, pods. You're being a, you're a historic. Figure in American history, okay. a beloved one, right? Except for a few who thought Poop. you were a dick. Yeah. Um, well, I apologize would, for that. Would you? Uh, I was saying, going back to an era though where it was shit. Yeah, I get awful. to travel. Oh. Oh. I get to travel. You get to travel now. That's true, and much more comfort than with shoes, did. Uh, fancy with shoes. shoes. I think that was a myth too. I, I'm sure Johnny wore shoes. She has a story about him that I like very much. Uh, he was uh, – when he heard that a neighbor's horse was about to be put down, he bought the horse, bought a few grassy acres nearby and turned the horse out to recover. When it did recover, he gave the horse to someone needy. Aww. So he was a good guy, John. I was wrong. I, I was wrong. And you're, but you admit it quick. Yes. I, I you're not like one of those fucking people that like has to be right. No, no, no. I'm, f I'm very comfortable with being do wrong. Do you deal with a lot of people that in your industry, Q? People who cannot be wrong? Yeah, I deal with three of them all the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, Sal, Joe, and... Uh, I'm not saying names. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were talking about Permission Bronze. Yeah, I, I really thought that was a joke no, at us. Oh, no, well, then five I, of them. I, I deal with five of them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you know what? He could have used some fucking skeletons. If I had hooked Johnny Appleseed with some skeletons. He could have spread apples as far as the eye could see. I got fine. a feeling Johnny wouldn't go in for that. Skeletos. No? No, I got a feeling he thought it was a, like a... He was more down to earth. Yeah, more like, look at me. <laughs> he's not yeah. one. He wasn't a look at me kind of guy. No. Yeah, he was just he he was doing his thing. He's preaching the word. He's planting seeds. Not like, hey, everyone, check out what I'm doing. Check out my skeletons. Yeah. He didn't want to distract from the fucking task at hand. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna overshadow what he's doing just for to get a. Fucking he lets his apples do the speaking for yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, he's my new hero. Yeah. Yeah, Johnny Appleseed. All right. That's cool. Well, then I would do it. I'd do it to be your hero. There you go, man. You're already my hero. Oh, thank you. Ming, if you went to uh, a haunted house, right? Okay. And you find out that they're um, on their website, there's a picture of you. Now, your face isn't shown. You're talking about, oh, you're talking about I thought you meant a real haunted house. You're talking about like a, like a, something at an amusement park? Like a Halloween house. Yeah, okay, like yeah. a Halloween haunted house. Uh, from like, say, your, your chest down. Okay. And it shows an obvious piss stain in your pants <laughs> because you were that, uh, Scared, you were yes. that afraid. Okay. Uh, the, this is a woman. She was exposed to ghastly characters. Um, the offending image uh, or the, the her image or at least not her face but you know uh, on the park's Facebook page uh, came with the caption piss your pants scary uh, it was no laughing matter though the thrill seekers the thrill seeker 
who said the incident left her completely humiliated by those who recognized her clothing. <laughs> Why didn't they digitalize her face? They didn't even have to. They, um, they cut it off. This is – yeah, this is the picture. Oh, and she's, now she's claiming that people could recognize her from her outfit? People can recognize her from her outfit. But she does redeem herself at the end of the – at the end of the article, park official says about five people do that every night. That's a lot of people a, pissing well, their pants. Well, I I think you're wrong. I think a lot of people do because I watch a lot of um, TV land. Yeah, mm-hmm. and women have a women uh, bombarded with commercials for women have a problem. With, like if you tickle them or, or sometimes well, no, they they have to wear these certain. Pants. Underwear and stuff, and because that's that that is an issue, I think. With with uh, so, so she may not she may scared. be older too. Yeah, so I don't think it's I don't, it may not have been due to the the frightening aspect of the house. Uh, perhaps didn't hurt, didn't help. Uh, I'm sure, no, I'm sure it didn't help. We have talked through the way the photo has been handled, and together we've come to an arrangement that includes an agreement that the photo can be continue that can continue to be used. We really appreciate her gen- generous gesture to spookers in allowing this, and have apologized for the embarrassment that she felt. Which means they gave her money, yes. and she's like, "All right, you can keep the picture up. I'm not that embarrassed." <laughs> yeah. How much money could a, a haunted house though give? Open what fucking a month? Yeah, yeah. Some of those places look like they make fucking bank, though. I it's one of the Times Square that's open year-round. I went to one in, in down in near Philly yeah, called the Bates. The Bates, oh, my God. The line was yeah. in, like hours, hours. And then you get on it and you're like, eh, my yeah, pants well, are dry. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going to be hard to scare you. Yeah. Right? I guess so. I mean – I mean, your your regular life you're is fucking, you're a member of the fucking horror writer association. <laughs> wow! It would have to. Uh, wow, Walter, that is a delightful oh. callback. If you if you get scared, you get your ass maybe out. So, oh, no, 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 no. You know what? Well, maybe I get kicked out, but they could use that. They would be like, so scary. <laughs> the member of the horror writers association pissed his pants. Oh, wow. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? did you have anything? Did, were you talking about something else, Walt? No, uh, I think there was uh, some horrific thing. I don't even know if I want to talk about it. Are we doing a two part? Are we doing? A- no, we're oh. just doing a long episode. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple. Uh, oh, I did want to ask you this, Walt. You go to. It turns out you're going to go to prison for life. No chance of parole. Um, life. Now that is going to suck, right? Depends on what I did. No two ways about it. Depends on what you did. It's going to suck no matter what. But but hopefully I did something noble. Like like it killed an ISIS guy or Mm. something. All right. I killed some pederast. Okay. Yeah, you strangled to death some fucking pederast. It turned out to be the wrong guy. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the heart was still in the right place. Yeah, he meant well. Um. So so now you're in prison and, and I always used to feel like, well, I would try to escape, but I'm probably not clever enough. Mm. It, it, it's almost unheard of when people escape. What lengths would you go to? Like you got two choices. You either kill yourself or you try to fucking find a way out of there because it's going to be hell on earth until you die. Well, what, what can I just keep spitting on the guards so they put me in, in uh, solitary confinement? Would you want solitary? Yeah, yeah. That's what I would do. I'd be like, hey, just do me a favor. I'm not going to spit on you. Just mm-hmm. say I spit on you then. And just put me in solitary. He's like he's still dripping with feces from the guy before him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, sorry, we got this guy in solitary. Uh, would you go so far as to say, look, I uh, I have a, a gender identity issue, and I I identify as a woman. What will that get me? I I don't belong in this jail. I belong in a women's jail. Have they removed male uh, male prisoners and put them in female prisons? I read a story that? where this – now, I don't know if they would do that um, because this story was like this guy was put into the um, the segregated area. Uh, and I know they have wings with like um, uh, people that aren't like post-op uh, Wait, well, are you, pre-op. But well, you can't – unless you got it before you went to jail – you're always going to be a, a pre-op. Can you not get a uh, a sex in change in, in I don't know, the, this really fucking nice. country, man? Sometimes it's shocking the like the rights people have. <laughs> you know, I like I wouldn't be stunned that taxpayers are footing the bill of a prisoner mm-hmm. who killed the wrong man, killed an innocent man. He thought it was a, was a 
was a child molester, mm. and now he's like, hey, I would like, like to become a woman. Mm. Not going to happen. It would be rough because they're like, well, you weren't married for 20 years. <laughs> but you're like, I was living a lie. But, but. So, I'd have to, so I'd have to go through the operation to get out of that prison? Yeah. Well, what makes you think the female prison is going to be any better? Because I've seen some footage, uh, some documentaries, and it ain't no fucking day at the park at the, at the women's facility either. It's not, but it does seem There's, much I, easier. I wouldn't last a day in a women's prison either. No? Nope. Hmm. Not a day. They, there's somebody would come over and just beat the shit out of me. Somebody would. Uh, I mean, I'd be somebody if you told bitch them, in women's prison. You'd be just their as wife. Quick as, as in the male one. What if you remember the four color demons? Do you think that they might not fuck with you then? Oh yeah, you're like. I you, think you, we'd be the. I'd be the laughing stock when they <laughs> when they fucking googled the fucking error on the patch. Or, <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's clown you're outfit protected. That would be rough. <laughs> But they might even go after you because, like, you were on TV, you know, like at the regular prison. How do they know if I was uh, – now I've, I've been turned into a woman. Well, that's what I mean. Like, if you go as a, as a woman, they may <laughs> so not know. You're willing to live as a woman. <laughs> well, it, it's the rest if of your I life. Could, uh, and, now, what, and you still have your strength, so. What if I told a doctor <laughs> as I get on there before they put me under, I'm like, I, I want to become a woman, but don't, but don't touch anything below <laughs> the skirt, like below the skirt. So line. just give you tits? Yeah. I think they would be like, guys, can you take him back to the cell? Because <laughs> I mean, because like, I still want to, I still want to like play the field. You want a nice rack? <laughs> yeah, you want to, you want to keep your options open. I think you're really setting yourself up for prison rape if you're walking around <laughs> with a nice set of tits and a dick. Well, I'm still getting out, though. I'm getting out. I'm going to the women's facility. I think you're still putting yourself up for a hard time, man. Well, I'd be the only, I'd be the only one who could could give a hard time because I told the doc to you know, keep <laughs> keep everything intact. Keep it on the DL, and yeah. the doctor's like, "Cool." He's like, "Saves me time. I got the same amount of money." <laughs> <laughs> the greatest trick ever pulled. <laughs> what about you, Kip? Would you become a woman to get out of the male prison? No, I don't no? think you so. Think you, you think you could? You could. Uh, Make your way in a in a men's facility. Whew, we're talking like a map, a supermax prison. Like, uh, well, supermax, you're going to be by yourself. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. Mm-hmm. Well, a they, lot of people say that, but they lose their minds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind either way. Yeah. I don't have what it takes. Look, I don't want to get raped. Mm-hmm. I don't want to get fucking like assaulted or anything like that. That's so, happen. well, I mean, so then I'll go for the super. But then I'd rather be alone and losing my mind. Or you can, or you can go. I, do, a woman. I don't want to become a woman. Can I go into prison and do what they say you got to do, which is like. Just go berserk when you get in and just rip someone's throat out and shit like that. So by that, well, you're, that's you, the PC version of punching the biggest black pick, guy you yeah. can find. Yeah, you, say you gotta pick the biggest, hardest dude there and make your statement. Right. You think you can walk in and, and, and pick the biggest you're hardest You're like, show dude? him to me and it's Walt with a cock <laughs> and boobs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I try not to think about it because... Well, it's, hopefully you'll you'll never you'll never commit a crime. That I don't want to. I do not want to be in prison. You would think though that like it's going to smell horrible oh, yeah. twenty four hours a day. I've been in a prison. I remember your mm-hmm. fucking stories. Yeah, I and, remember my horror stories. Yeah. and and odors was like odor was number ten uh, on the most. Well, and if that's ten smell. on his list, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 number one. Oh we're my talking, god! And here we, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about just sweat. Yeah. I it's just I couldn't do it. I I wouldn't. I don't think I'm I'm cut out for prison. No, not many people are. Yeah, it takes a certain it takes a certain mentality to be. But I wouldn't. Cut out I wouldn't prison. let myself become like I I I'd, I'd rather die than than become someone's like bitch in prison. All right, but what about the female uh, op- operation? I'd also rather die really? than become a woman. Yeah, it's yeah. not very PC. Yeah, it's kind of no, a jerk not. thing to say. I'm not I'd a rather woman. be dead than be than be a, than just a different. Sex. No, if you're talking about snap my finger and suddenly I'm a re- like a real girl. Well, this ain't snapping your fingers. Right, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to go through any of that. Why? You, It'd probably be a, it's a quick recovery. Look, you're not. A, you'll look, be out. You'll be back in the game in a week. Look, I, yeah. I'm, I, I'll, I'm <laughs> you'll down be dating for if somebody <laughs> if somebody wants to become a like go do that you surgery. He just still has his beard. <laughs> 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 like I don't. They don't have the money to give me the pills. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 and that hat <laughs> yeah, that he wears <laughs> <laughs> and the 
voice. <laughs> hey, the same voice. Tell me I look pretty. Uh, I I don't look. I I don't I don't. Anybody can do whatever they want. I don't begrudge anybody who feels they were born in the wrong body and goes to the surgery to become a woman. They should have the right to do it. It doesn't disgust me. It doesn't do anything to me. But you I, said you'd rather be dead, though. For me, I don't think that that surgery turned you into a woman. I think that turned you into like some third thing. Mm. Like you're just a dude who's been mutilated. Like that's you know they, they well, chopped your cock off. Are you, are, are you yeah. circumcised? I am. Yeah, you're mutilated. I, I agree. I agree with that. Um, so, so it's just, do you agree? Your parents mutilated you. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I had. If I had a say in the matter, I would have gotten circumcised. I think, um, from what I understand, I think that girls in general are a little freaked out about uncut yeah, but I don't guys. Give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what they think. I'm talking about myself. Like that right, had to be right. horrible to just fucking. They don't give you any anesthesia or anything like that when you're a baby. They just cut it. That's fucking horrible. Remember very early on in a very early episode of Tell Him Steve Dave, we talked about those like Orthodox Jewish people where like the moil, like they cut up the kid and then the moil, the, 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 yeah, they suck it. They suck the blood out of his dick, oh. which is – it's 100 percent true. 100 percent. I'm going to – Ming, do it up. Ming, Ming's looking it up right now. Oh. <laughs> That's what the Lebanese say. So they, so they oh, really? turn their people against uh, Israelis. And I'm not yeah. saying – I don't want to be clear because I don't know – I don't know if we ever figured out whether we have any transsexual listeners like – I I go like anybody can do whatever they want, and I how yeah, of course, but I don't feel anything negative towards anybody that does it. But I can't sit here and be like, well, suddenly you're a woman. It's no, just like we, you're not. Wait, but you no, know, I'm not saying you're going to be convinced you're a woman. But you're just right. to make your life easier to live out the rest of your life, not in a not at all in a prison, <laughs> right? No, I don't. I wouldn't want to die. Really? Rather, yeah, I'd rather wow. die. I'd rather but just. You know, die. you go on. You know that you're going to be. It's going to be a lot nicer and a lot easier, stressful, stress-free. I'm telling you, in women's I, prison. I don't think so. I think I would look at myself and be like, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be able You're to handle cute. that. You're still cute. I'm not. I'm not. Yes, you would be. It's, it's just, the, it's just a You'd show. You'd be cute to us. We come see you. It's, it's what makes you up is not, is not this flesh. Well, the flesh is a big part about what makes us up, my identity and stuff like that. <laughs> really? I don't think like psychologically I'd be able to handle it. I don't think I would. I think that's why a lot of people who struggle with those issues are are fucking, you know, they. I think they don't they're have, tormented. Yeah, they're tormented. People, yeah. They don't have easy lives, and I feel for them. But you could, but couldn't let's say your lawyers, they get you off. Right. You can always can't you always go back or once you get the operation it's done you can't go back. I don't know. I don't know. They saved about it. it. I'd be like, what the fuck, lawyers? Why? Do you- I'd be like, you're going to do this a year ago? Like when I still had a cock? <laughs> like, fuck, no. Nah, I think I'd, I'd, ra- I'd really rather just die. If my options are go through the operation and become a, a, a woman or get raped every day in prison, I would like, I'd rather die. I'd rather just, I'd hang myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I wouldn't even quite, I wouldn't even be like, I'd be like, well, what Those are you, are my only where it is it because you're because is it the is it the downstairs or is it the upstairs that would freak you out the most? Downstairs. Well, upstairs too. It's all pretty fucking freaky. Man. <laughs> See, upstairs, I'm kind of used to at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the downstairs be a little different. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd just rather die. It's not for me. Yeah. Neither Prison's one of those for options you? are for me. You see, there was another one of the things I was reading up on uh, Supermax prisons, and it's amazing some of these people, like these uh, Aryan Nation guys, like they're in a they're locked down twenty three hours a day, and they still are hell bent on giving orders to Aryan Nation people, like outside the the oh. prison. So, like sometimes you know you can find a shifty guard and get a note out, or like like somehow they do it, and it's like, can you imagine? That level of – if I had the uh, the commitment of an Aryan nation criminal, <laughs> like yeah. I, I, I would set the world on fire. I just – I can't believe these guys are so committed to this heinous and uh, evil philosophy that that they're yeah. – uh, because they'll never – I mean they're in jail for life. They'll, they'll never you, reap you any it, benefits. It's not just people in jail. I mean this is all – this is a worldwide problem. People are committed to but, right, but heinous – Beliefs and uh, but I'm saying once you're in jail for and and those are like you're in supermax like that's 
fucking crazy. Do you have to like, read in a supermarket? Uh, I believe you do, but the restrictions are nuts. You won't, like you almost never see any other humans aside from you know uh, guards and stuff. Right. You don't see any other people. You don't talk to any other people. Uh, I think you're denied visitors, and it's like it's a select group. There, right. there aren't many people that are in those those types of conditions. But my point being that like I think I might second guess my path and <laughs> be like, you know what? What what does it all mean? What does it all fucking mean to like? But what I mean the the mindset of the existence that's left for you. This is it. Yeah. This is it until you take your last breath. Yeah. It's got to be. The, it, it's, it's, and it's your own fault. Though. It's your own fault. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, you yes, could have just made a few different decisions, and yes. you could be on a beach in fucking Florida right now. But you be in Costa Rica. People be are being Rica, paid to keep dog. you locked up for the rest of your life in a room where no, you can't see nobody else. Yep. That's crazy. That's when you think insane. about it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I I just I was reading this shit and I was like, like you say, it's incomprehensible. You you can't even begin to ima- It's almost like trying to imagine what it's like to be dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would, I would have to agree with that. because you're effectively dead. You know, the, you you have there's, Oof. but but there are guys who go in and they're not in supermax and they'll, they'll get you know a law degree and they'll help other prisoners, mm-hmm. you know, and shit like like I guess some guys like when they're in there they do find something that you know they they're like well I can I can I can benefit other a, people somehow. A buddy of mine did five years for a hacking. And hacking? Uh, yeah, but it was bullshit like computer hacking. Computer hacking. Yeah, and he was in a minimum minimum security. What do you mean bullshit hacking? It, it was like he did. I, I forget exactly what he did, but he almost. It wasn't like Sony Corp or something like that. Right. right. He like got some credit card numbers or something like that. Um, and he did five years uh, in a minimum 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 security prison, and he was like, he's like, they would just. Doors would be open. We would just wander around. Nobody caused any problems because we all knew we were only there for a certain amount of time. Nobody. He's like, they they would let us go out to do landscaping. He goes, they handed me chainsaws. He goes, and I would just go out and like cut trees and shit like that. He goes, well, while the guys were on the cell phone talking to his wife. So there's definitely yeah. two different yeah. spectrums of prison. Well, yeah, that's the, the prison I want to go to. Well, those are nonviolent <laughs> crimes, right. you know. And and like you say, there's there's a, a, a brief window. But when you get guys where it's like you will never see the light of day. And you have a, a group like, you know, say you're in the Mexican mafia or you're in Aryan Nation or you're in any number of gangs and they're like, go kill that guy. Well, it, it, well Why it, not? <laughs> it's, the exa- it's the perfect in- example of there is nothing to lose. There is exactly. nothing. There is no repercussions to any actions anymore. Right. That, anything you can do, any pain you can inflict – you will feel there's nothing more they can do to you. Right. It's worth like let's say they put you in the hole for two or three months. It's worth that because when you get out, now you've proved your loyalty to this gang or whatever who will probably turn on you like that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I just, huh? I just have a random note here. To live with a honey badger is to live in a constant state of alarm. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that down. <laughs> that, was that before your head popped? Or uh, that, that was that was long before. That's funny. Um, you know what? I, I, I'll I'll tell you real fast, Walt. I'll give you the dates that Kevin and I are going to be in Florida. What? Uh, April seventeenth, eighteenth, and nineteenth. How folks. come it's not? Uh, how come it's not popping up here? Four oh four, not found. How do you know that? I had to put up the ads because he uh, had to create ads for this. So. Uh, where where is it again, Ming? It's- uh, April seventeenth, Fort Lauderdale Improv. April eighteenth, Palm Beach Improv, and April nineteenth, Orlando Improv. So you'll be all over Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why bribe? And uh, Sage is going to come down. We're going to do a little a little Disney while we're down there. But I I think you should come to those shows. They're relatively inexpensive. They're always fun. Yeah. Always. I don't think we haven't had a fun show yet. Uh, have you heard about this this man spread? issue no this is this is another thing this is one of the latest things that uh i guess certain feminists quote-unquote feminists are unhappy with man spread is when you sit on like say a bus or a subway and you know how like you sit like you might spread your, your yeah you know, uh that that's uh, they, they want to see a stop to that tough 
They want to see a stop to that. Uh, what, why? What's the reason? There? The reason is, is that taking you're, up too much you're in, yeah taking up too much room. You're encroaching on other. All right, I don't. I don't spaces. give a fuck. Um, fuck your space. I want to sit with my legs spread like a fucking man. Well, uh, <laughs> my feeling is you when you when until, you see, wait a minute, until you're sitting next to somebody that you know is taking up too much. Fuck room, that! I was on right? I was on an airplane two weeks ago with this fucking. This is another fatso. This no. This this <laughs> was uh, this was a potential prison rape situation. This was like he was like eight <laughs> feet high, oh. fucking muscular really dude. dude. Mile and, I, and I was sitting next to him <laughs> unwillingly. <laughs> and he sat with his spread. He sat with his legs wide open, right. so it was going into my area. Right. And I was like, fuck this dude. So I started fucking pressing my leg against him and pushing back. And fucking <laughs> had like a two-hour flight where it was like a constant battle for who got to fucking take it over. And I'm proud to say I won because fuck that fucking guy. Good on you. Yeah, I ain't taking shit from some fucking asshole. I'm certainly imagine not taking shit for some... Imagine getting this fucking proud of yourself because you fucking... You I nudged, you nudged you someone? Dude, dude. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck Your that. spread was better well, than We got a question who the fucking leader of the four-color demons is. <laughs> <laughs> this is his fucking street cred? This yeah. is what he brings to the table? <laughs> Listen, to me, you'd be sitting there fucking cowering into the corner from this fucking guy. I was spreading my legs like a real man. I, I gotta tell you, uh, one, just, just in general, and I I don't even. I don't know why I'm addressing the uh, 13 percenters with this because I, I genuinely feel that not one of them would back such nonsense. That's not a serious thing. Anyway, I'm telling it? you, man, it is. It was in the fucking New York Post and and That's like serious. certain. Yeah, there. It's just another thing where I'm like, have fucking it's women run out of spread. shit to it's fucking sp- complain about? I know they haven't because they got they real s- problems. Are they saying that women don't sit with their legs um, akimbo too far and true and. In trouncing of on other people? Of course they don't. Encroaching on other people's fucking territory, Walt. Of word. course what they I don't. Yes. I thought you said entrouncing. Entrouncing? <laughs> Whatever, man. Uh. You're, you're upset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I really don't care about this. Holy shit. It's a real thing. It, dude, it, not only is it a real thing, but I just want to put the word out there. Adding the word man as a prefix to something else that you, that you don't like or you want to bitch about is not clever. And it'll be a f- like you like you say it'll be a fucking cold day in hell before I fucking literally sit on my fucking balls because See? I'm an inch or two in your space. I'm not the only one who fucking worked uh, up about I'm not this. Endorsing this, so Ming, you will have to say, tell him, Steve, Dave, if we want to end this. I, I I I love my place without hearing any complaints. I never get any bullshit. You never ride the subway. No, I'm talking about a lot of emails. Fucking. He doesn't want to hear any shit. I, I, I uh, so I, uh, I email this bastard. He's going to agree with me once. Ming says, Tell you, know what? you know what? Though you know, I will say this: I have a medical issue. Though, if I get on this, they, they, they can't close their legs all the way, and uh, and also, but some people are assholes. I, yes, uh, the, the picture of the guy. Um, uh, I couldn't agree more with the picture of the, that they used. It's a, like an urban, uh, saggy pants kind of guy with like. I mean, it was ridiculous. But right. there's nobody around him, so it didn't really matter. And my my guess would be the the guys who are doing this are not businessmen. They're not uh, older well, guys. It could be guys with uh, with obesity issues too, right? It's it's either uh, here here are the groups: urban dudes. Asshole fucking frat type guys, young types, and fucking fatties that can't close their legs even if they wanted to. Give us a break. You could get a girdle. You get a ride public transportation, you could get a girdle to be considerate to other people. <sighs> Tell them, Steve Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord.
This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir, only at Smodcast.com.